Zach, you want to intro it? Um, as I'm adjusting my lights, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hey, what's up, everybody? Let's go, dude. Episode what's 17. Up? All right, g- give us, give us a good, uh, good. I'm gonna good do intro. an offensive accent off the rip and okay, get us let's canceled. Do let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Go for it. Name, hey, name one. Mm-hmm. Hey, Holmes. Is that what hey, you said? Uh, hey, uh, say? Thank you. Come again. <laughs> thank you. So. I think I think that's a good. I think that's a good right, starting that's point. That's the show, everyone. Uh, that's it. <laughs> Goodbye. Seventeenth word ends. Podcast, the whole podcast. It's funny because I said that I would never. I, I would try not to be racist again. And we immediately. <laughs> immediately. So in my mind, in my mind, I was like trying to find ways of avoiding being on the wall, like right off the top, and I. I don't, that was just what came to my head. So I'm fucking. Uh, oh, so, fair enough. So everyone around me is the problem. I, I'm not actually racist. You just. just yeah, you surround yourself with bad people. With racist with enablers. people, yeah, right. exactly. Yeah, right. Right. yeah right. so you're not racist, you just do nothing but hang out guilty around. Guilty as charged. Right. <laughs> yeah, guilty, guilty as charged. Yeah. Right. Right. You guys can see my hand, right? Yeah, guilty as charged. Uh, yeah, I like your <laughs> flannel, Sean. Uh, it's a bathrobe, yeah, thank you. Oh, is it? Wait, can you can you give us a 360? Are you in underwear? Oh um, my god, actually, it is. Actually, I was going to just take these pants off, but I like, these are super comfortable pants that I bought at Target, and I have a are they they look like jeans are they not jeans no they're um i don't know what type of material they are but they are like know. thick they're they're not like uh whatever i don't know how to explain it but i said i i think sean was introed to me as this guy only wears one shirt ever and then now i'm seeing him he i've, I've seen him as andrew tate before yeah, and now i'm yeah. seeing him in 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 bedroom garb bedroom garb yeah 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 bedroom garb and are you are it's, you happy uh, you you guys are definitely all cozied out. I'm stuck here in the desert where it's still not that cold. Yeah, it's and not crazy cold here. I saw I saw like a, a weather report. Wow, no more evergreen content. This is dated as all hell. Right, right. But I saw I saw a um, news report earlier the week saying there's like negative sixty, negative seventy wind chill in the northeast this week, upcoming week. Not here, but yes, they, maybe in Maine. Yeah, I know yeah. it's um it's negative six where I am right now, which is fucking <clears throat> awesome. It's going to be like <laughs> negative twenty tomorrow. There was like um, a mountain somewhere up near Vermont where the peak of it is supposed to have a negative like 102 degree wind chill or something like that. I'm, you're dead on, on impact. I feel like. Yeah. You know, it's funny. I, so I went to my car today and uh, the temperature outside, it was 12 degrees with a wind chill to zero. And I'm, I, I always go to my car for lunch just because I fucking hate being in the building. So I, I walked to my car and literally by the time I get to my car, my hands like hurt because of how cold it is yeah and for the entire 30 minute break my car did not heat up it was like blowing cold air and i like minute 20 i was like am i gonna die am I, like, i'm thinking to myself should i go inside <laughs> but i mean that's fucking i didn't I, die I, I went outside just now three times because the dog had to pee in one one shot poop in one shot and then just go out to look around in one shot mm-hmm. and yeah. just that like you know Max was like three minutes. I was like, "All right, I'm good with this." You know, I, yeah. I and it's, it's windy too, which is fucking well, nerve wracking. Well, it's the, it's the it's, wind chills. What's yeah. bringing it's it down to the negative seventy? That's what it is. It's, yeah. it's frostbite. Tem- it, like the air temperature is cold, but then yeah. the wind makes it so like you literally. I think it's like you get frostbite in like fifth, like thirty seconds or so, I don't know some shit like that. There's some crazy number where they're like, "Your mom you gave get- me frostbite." Ooh, she, she gave you that frosty. Yeah, she's you know. a cold-hearted bitch. That's what she. Is. Yeah, it's been kind of crazy here today. I thought I was going to lose ben, power. Put subway certain. surfers below what you're saying. Oh, I want to keep for the, attention. for the main. Po- I I think yeah, for the main pike. Who cares? Okay, put subway enough, surfers right down yeah, there. Yeah, sure, sure. Um, Zach, I don't know what you did or what I did. Your volume is always too high or too low. All right, you're good. We were just, talk, we were just, talk, we were just talking about this. Actually. I have to re, I have to reset up my audio every time I plug this fucking behemoth in. Yeah, you sound good now. Okay, I don't know because I every I joined the Discord chat uh, yesterday <laughs> and I was talking to everybody and everybody was just a little too loud and I'm like, what the fuck did I do? What did I press that where everything's loud now? But we're good. Um, yeah, so it's cold. It's windy. I was worried that I was going to die today. I did not die today. 
It's but, 63 degrees out right now. Right? Oh, that's so, that's Hold so on, sick, dude. Mind. That's cigarette, <laughs> that's cigarette smoking weather right there. That's what that is in my mind. I've never smoked a cigarette in my life. I'm just guessing. Negative that's going to be taken out of context what I just said. Right now, Broski, negative 16 right now. Yeah, how, do I, how do you, how did you check that so quick? You go weather, weather channel? Yeah, my, I have my weather. Mine's just yeah, literally, yeah, mine's just literally on my like lock screen. Whoa, that's personal information. Mine's just literally <laughs> like right, right up there. Uh, show weather. No, I am. Yeah, I don't Google, know. Show it, weather. It doesn't. It doesn't. It just. I don't know just, if you can see this. I don't know if you can see this. Um, but my window has a bunch of condensation. <laughs> Do you see that? Oh my god. Oh wow. And it, that's like ice right now on my yeah. fucking fingers. Are you cold? Uh there's a mild draft. That's why I'm like, you see, I have like three layers in here. Yeah. Because uh, there's my landlord that won't replace our windows. Thank so you, I, landlord. We love landlords. That's our new merch, by the way. We're selling I Love My Landlord We're landlord merch. lovers. That's what we yeah. are. Yeah, and it's yeah. all just a ploy to try to lower your rent to not get people evicted. Right. We're going to be selling right. I well, Heart My Landlord merchandise on our store. The, the only reason I'm not going so hard against my landlord is our our rent is like $400 below market value. So it's like, <laughs> do, you yeah, wanna make a, do you want to make a diss track against your landlord, dude? No, dude, first first landlord. content of the day, dude. We just we write a diss track against <laughs> the landlord. Lim- my landlord is a retired <laughs> belly dancer, dude. She is she's like a, a woman to talk to. In dude. Western Mass, yes. She used to do like figure skate, and then she did like. Uh, does she have left- the accent? Yeah, she does have a, a Boston a Boston accent. A, bo- a, a Boston. Boston accent. Yeah, Imagine Boston. getting a belly dance from some seedy woman, and then she turns around and starts barking in the Boston accent. That's how they sound in my head. Um, dude, I had a crazy weekend last weekend. I'm, the, I'm not in Boston, uh, by the way. I'm, I'm not. I'm, I don't live in sure. Boston. Well, wait, can you give us your exact <laughs> location? Do you have like a Google Maps so you could open up and you can see like my location in terms of the longitude and latitude? Yeah. Uh, Zip code. You can delete that, right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I had, I had a, I had a, anyway, I had a crazy weekend last weekend, right? Yeah. In New York, New York city. I was going to record something for the, the, this, but I was like, uh, I you hate New York. Fun. That's okay. That's okay. Yeah, I was just having so much fun. It was actually a really good time. That was how I, I was felt when really I told people. you, when I told you I was going to film myself eating the McRib is to put it in the show and I didn't do it, but I still ate the McRib. I just <laughs> forgot it was that was because I was just having so much fun. Right. Eating right. the McRib. I, I just there was a point. Well, there was a point because I knew I was going to tell the story on the pod, the, like the story mm-hmm, of New York mm-hmm. on the podcast. So that we, right when we got there, we were just sitting in Bryant Park waiting to do something. And I was going to bring out my phone, but I was like, I'm really not in a funny mood. I'm like, I'm in a reactionary, not like a like a stand up kind of mood. So I'm like. I don't want to do it. And then later that night, I, I, I just, it just didn't work out. Um, but uh, it was fucking nuts. So my birthday was on Sunday. Wait, put happy birthday in chat. Happy birthday in happy chat. Happy birthday, Ben. Happy it's birthday, Sunday Ben. Sunday the 29th? I think it was Sunday. Yeah, I think so. Um, so my birthday was Sunday. So on Saturday, because Sunday's a dumb day to have a birthday. Fucking idiot me. Um who thinks like this? Last episode, he, he said he said the, the 20 teens. He said the 20 teens. And it well, threw me for a loop because I felt 50 years old. And well, then now he's fa- sitting here. To be fair to Ben, I and I think a few other people in the Discord were like, yeah, we can't do Sunday. We yeah. I, like I, 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 I didn't go to New York just because I literally was like, I don't know if I can swing that time. Yeah, Sunday birthdays are for dumb pieces of shit. Is is mm. that, That's just how it is. Hey, if your birthday is on a Sunday this year, fucking unsubscribe. Yeah, unsubscribe. you should kill, your, you yeah, get, kill yourself. Get the fuck out of... I don't, I don't want any <laughs> Sunday see, birthday, birthday guys. Well, I need to see one month. Yeah, I need to... I didn't, yeah, you see... You, we're going to have to do that live on air if it holds up. I was going to um, say, I, I hope you have the noose ready. The gun ready. Oh, you know I do, brother. Who's this for? What uh, for <laughs> this show? <laughs> oh, mine's on a Saturday, so it looks like oh, I have one year left to by. live. You mine's scraped on by. Day. <laughs> Let's go, dude. You both scraped by. So, uh, so Saturday we all did the. I'm mentally all, ill. We, we did. The, <laughs> there's, <laughs> there's some. There's some like really freaky person who knows like. Ever seen those videos of the people that you give them a specific date and they can tell you exactly what day of the yeah, week it is? Weird there's people. someone that like just heard that segment. I said, "Oh, my birthday is on a Saturday this year," and they immediately went. Okay, it's either this day, that day, or that day. 
Yeah, they just or knew it. I thought you were going to say they were just like waiting. Like they were like, you said, oh, my birthday. What day is it on? Hmm. And you go on your phone and they're like, it's a Saturday. Get with it. And they they they, they clicked off and they didn't watch the rest of the episode because they got yeah, bored. Yeah, because that was all. They got off already. They were, yeah, they, were, <laughs> they already got off. They got off. They got what they needed. <laughs> right, yeah. exactly. Um, you, skip, you skip to the most watched scene and then you're done. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because now you can see that in YouTube. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Really yeah. And you Do you think that'll it. be the most watched scene? No, that will not be the most watched scene. They'll skip further in. You'll see, you'll see the bump and then a flat line. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's, there's going to be a point later where Sean does another stand-up bit and he talks about this time that he took mushrooms in the desert or something. It's going to be weird in the, in the Sedona desert or something with his buddy and then the home on that. There's going to be something weird. Um, but, uh, yeah, so New York saw, uh, saw, was great. Um, uh the fact that we had an itinerary, like a very specific itinerary, made it much more bearable for me. I just don't did like you walking. Set that up, or did other people set that up for no, you? No, set up for me. But truthfully, we were supposed to do a lot more. It just time Alexi my didn't Alexi. work out. Alexi, yep. <laughs> my parents sometimes still call her Alexa, and it's been almost five <laughs> years. Um, oh, I, I was going to make a joke earlier. We're going to piss people off at home. Okay, okay, Alexa, look up a uh, regurgitated podcast. Searching for regurgitated podcast. Blood that shit is trash. Placing order for horny goat weed for men and women. 50, 90 maximum strength, stamina, endurance, circulation. Joint back support, maca root ginseng. You can bind tribulus large and on use a made 60 count on Amazon. True base. I have an echo dot somewhere. Isn't it, isn't it just Alexa that. now? You said you go like, hey. I think oh. you can say, no, it's okay, Google. You can, I think it's just, hey, Alexa. Mine's okay, Google. Yeah, yeah it's okay, oh. Google. It, it just activated my phone. It's yep. transcribing. Yep. Look, I didn't even touch it. It's saying, it's giving me everything I was saying right now. Look it at just, that. It's like, literally it says, transcribing yep. <laughs> everything that I'm saying in the current moment, and I didn't even press a button. So that's what go. we just did to you that's at home, future. hopefully. Um, <sighs> yeah, so we, we get there, and we're waiting for Alexis, and we kind of just walk around for a little bit, and then... Uh, Alexis shows up. We go to the Nintendo store. Huge. I got Bayonetta 3. I got to see her butt, which is huge. Um, and then we went to too. an anime cafe. I got Evan for what his birthday. What? What does anime cafe mean? It's, what a, does it's, that it's, a, it's like a. They have like an anime stuff, manga stuff, random like Japanese stationery. So is it like shit. a store? That has a cafe in it, or like, how is the anime style integrated bookstore. in the cafe style? Yeah, and, then, it's, it's, and so it's, it's on the second. There's got it's got two floors, right? Three floors. Three? Yes, three floors. Yeah, there's a there's a bottom there's floor a that nobody there's goes a, to. There's, there's a basement, right? Yeah. Right, right, right. Um, for the real but, freaks. For the real freaks, the ones that's that like, it becomes, hens a, it and becomes stuffed a, animals. Yeah, it becomes a hentai cafe at that right, point. Right. So um, on the so, so the middle floor is like mostly just. Normal people books. The the top, the top floor is where the cafe and the manga and all the anime shit is. And we went there. We hung out. You know, um, it was for like a few minutes because we had to get to our um, our barbecue dinner, which was really good. Um, and I got Evan a gift for his birthday, which was three days after mine. I got him. I didn't know this. I'm a really good gift giver by accident. I picked it up. I said Evan would love this for his birthday. It's in three days, I'll get it for him. It was a Elden Ring uh, art book that doesn't come out in the U S until July. And I did not know that I just got it because I was like, Oh, he'd like this. This is like, he's like a collector of games. He'd like this. So I got it for him. I didn't know that it didn't come out until the, the US version didn't come out until July. He was like, he was like, really like, he was like, Oh, I really appreciate that. It's such a good gift. And I was like, is uh, it? Yeah. <laughs> and then I look it up and then it's, just, yeah, this is out until July. I'm like, what the fuck? It was, so that was pretty good. Um, but I didn't really get anything in there that time. And then we went to dinner and then that is when things went a little bit awry. Like that okay. was a normal New York trip until dinner. Dinner comes. Brian is drinking his fucking gin and tonics like an old man. Um, Barney is just drinking beers. Blue Moons. Is that what you're drinking right now? It's kind of weird. It's it, I, I intentionally made this green for the show, but it's Empress Blue that. Gin, pineapple juice, and then like regular. It's like a gin and tonic that, with that pineapple juice. That sounds good. It's that an old man's gross. It looks gross because it's green, but no, I made I, that green because it's this show. Wait, that's our show. That's wait, that's your show. <laughs> I just that's, blew my that's show. That's actually gross, though. That's like that's <laughs> not just water. That's gross. <laughs> um, I'm like the Stevo, but lame. Can you do? What's your best Stevo impression? Do three of them. 
That's one. Come on, Johnny Knoxville. That's two. Yeah. Punch me in the nuts, man. All right, three. All right. You want to do Touch whippets? The, that's an extra. That's awesome. I'm happy for you, dude. I'm happy that you can do that. So we go to the, Brian's drinking his old There's man drink. on my floor. I know. There's so much. And I don't know yeah, why you thought that was a good idea. You got carpet or what? It's cardboard. It's it's cardboard. <laughs> you fucking poor dude. <laughs> it's carpet. You dumb whore. <laughs> it is carpet though. Um. So Brian's drinking, drinking his old man drink. Barney's drinking like Blue Moons and regular beer shit. That's and we have dinner. We have dinner with Alexis's family. You know, oh, okay. Her, her, they were there. Yeah, her mom, her niece, and her brother Figaro? are there. Not Figaro. Not Figaro. Um. But we all eat dinner. Brian does this thing where he's getting he's getting more lit and he's like, I also do that, that thing where I get more lit. He he it's sometimes a common thing with some people, but he goes he keeps drinking. He's like, you're not gonna go, throw, you know that that's not gonna go to waste, right? And he starts eat, eating the like the remains of everybody's food. Okay, uh, yeah, Brian's a very funny boy. I love I love Brian. He's such a sweet man, Brian. and he's so yeah. so he starts getting. He, he overeats by f- far and he's yeah, drinking. Yeah. So the plan for after dinner is we go to a bowling alley. Okay. So we all oh, eat dinner. Brian overeats. Split. Well, Brian overeats. We go to this bowling alley. We go there. I'm clearly very white and sheltered and from like a very small town. Oh. We go to this bowling alley. It's a club with bowling. And they pat us down. And I'm like, that's what where, the fuck that's where is kickoff go- got shot? Actually, <laughs> it might be. It might be. But uh, we <laughs> walk in and it's like, I, I've never been to a, like, a real club. So this might just be a normal thing. But the, ba- but the bouncer's like, who are you? How many people are with you? <laughs> like, like a movie. Mm-hmm. I don't know if that's actually what happens in real life. I don't ever care to Dude, ever. I've had, I, I'll let time. you finish this story. But I've had some like really. It, p- bouncers are annoying. Not because they're like, I, I don't know. I don't know. They. they you want to kill people man, and they get in the way. No, well, yes, I like to be a nuisance. <laughs> I feel like bouncers are normal people that when they get this authority over strangers, they like run with it like teachers and cops. Yeah. Like, I, again, I, I, I have some experiences with a really quick aside. I, I went into this Irish pub this one time and this guy was looking at me and he was like, yeah, he was just giving me a hard time the whole time. He was like, you look fucking cheeky, mate. Like he just kept like making fun of me the whole time and like inspecting me mm-hmm. before he let me into the place. And I was like, you're not a cop. You can't do anything. Yeah, fuck off. Yeah. Let me drink or tell me I can't drink. Yeah. yeah don't wasting my yeah. time yeah, yeah. before yeah. I get into your silly little bar. Mm-hmm. Silly little boy. Ooh, damn. He's a silly little boy with a silly little bar. Okay. <laughs> He's a silly little boy with a but, silly little bar. So that wasn't the experience that we had. The guy was actually quite nice. And since Alexis <laughs> Alexis did her Alexis thing, Alexis is very like I love my bouncer. Authoritative. Yeah, she's good. Yes. She's, Authoritative yeah, she's, is a great word. She's very like I, I She's I, from I, New York. I am, I am doing she's like, I am doing this. It is not a question of like it is not a, it is a question of how not it, yes or no, right? Yes. Yeah. So she She's like, oh yeah, it's, uh, it's it's five people. It's actually four. You're supposed to have five minimum, but ooh, we broke the rules. Um, we go in because uh, her brother was supposed to come with us, but he got uh, he got sick on some um, alcohol at uh, the the barbecue place. So we go in, we get patted down. <laughs> I got I have dietary issues to talk about. Um, we get patted down. We go to the bar. We have to wait thirty minutes until we get to our lane. We get our lane. We're bowling. I'm not good at bowling. I'm, I'm trash at bowling. As Sean, I'm sure has seen multiple times. And but it's Brian's really fun. good. Brian's really good at bowling. And he has, he always brings his own ball. Obviously, he didn't for this because he went all the way to New York. But he always brings his own ball because he used to be in a, 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 a bowling league. And he's bowling. He's bowling. He's like, dude, dude, the fucking oil. What are they called? The oil <laughs> patterns are all fucked up. It's all <laughs> fucked up. It's always going to the right. And I'm like, no, dude, you've had. There are at least three gin and tonics and a fuck ton of beer. They ordered a tower of of Bud Light. So he's drinking that too. And he's like, dude, the oil patterns are all fucked up. My ball keeps going to the right. I'm like, no, you're just you're just intoxicated, Brian. I didn't tell him this. Because you don't tell an intoxicated person they're intoxicated. Um if you but, know him close enough, it shouldn't be that big of a deal. If someone was telling me I was too drunk. Well, he was frustrated. So I'm like, I don't want to like be like, oh Brian, you're just drunk, because then you get more frustrated, I feel like. Um, point is. So uh, he's There's a point get, to all this. He's uh, yes, uh, it's so good. It's <laughs> such a good point. So Brian starts just kind of like standing like around, going like this, 
and and, I, and I'm like, are you good? And he's like, he's like, I'm not feeling so great. And I'm like, oh shit, all right, dude. I mean, I was like, yeah, just I mean, there's water. They, they had a pitcher of water at the yeah, the main you drink water. <laughs> and then yeah. he he sits on the little couch and he goes like this, like holds his stomach like this. And then it's my turn to go bowl, so I bowl and I turn around. He's fucking gone. And I'm like, what the hell happened? It was like seconds. He comes back. He has water all on his face. <laughs> And he's like, I just puked, but I feel fucking awesome. <laughs> I know that feeling. I love this guy. And, and, and so. Except he, for I would also finish my, I would overeat my own plate. He'd be <laughs> upset with me because I wouldn't let him right. finish my plate. I would do that myself. I said to him, I said to him, um, uh, I was like, I was like, did it taste as good coming out the other end? And he was like, I don't want to talk about it. Remember what I said about wasting food? <laughs> I was like, yeah, yeah, literally. So um, he, we both of the, the game. He keeps drinking. We finished the tower. I only have two and a half cups of this tower. Alexis has, one, I think, about one cup of Bud Light. She actually doesn't hate Bud Light. Fun fact. First time she ever had it. Um, yeah, fun fact, everyone. We're going to have a little <laughs> info slide right here. Little fun, yeah, there's a few fun facts does here. not hate Bud Light. <laughs> there's no Bud Light hating in her, in her body. So we... We 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 finish the the tower and we go outside and we're waiting and I, I at this point Brian is very intoxicated mm-hmm. and he does this thing when he's intoxicated and, he, and I'll, I'm gonna put, put he's pictures. He's already thrown up, so he's pretty he's dehydrated. All, he's already thrown up. And he, already, and he drank here. more is, beer afterward. He, he threw is, up. Is Brian intoxicated? He's intoxicated. He wow. is intoxicated. Believe it or not, wow, he's intoxicated. Everybody. Why Where is intoxicated? Am I right? <laughs> um, <laughs> he's in there, but he's in. The, I don't know where. Yeah, uh, so Real Bill Maher in the chat. Real <laughs> Jimmy Kimmel over here. So he's intoxicated, right? Believe it or not, and I, he's does this thing, and I and I, I uh, I'm going to post pictures. He when he's intoxicated, he puts his hand like on your shoulder or like hug you. He's like a, he's not like horribly touchy, but he'll like he'll like hug or whatever. You got to keep him away from women when he gets yeah. like, you. <laughs> there, there was a, there was it's always a ten foot separation in the, between her, it's him not and Alexis. A sexual thing. It's yeah. just anything squishy <laughs> right. gets right. Yeah. He just yeah goes for it. no. But he oh. but he he's like a, he's such a he's such a good natured person. He, he 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 was so he apologized to me like five times that he puked. I'm like I don't fucking care that you puked, my brother. But he's such a good natured person. He's so nice. And he, he you know how like people can get that drunk and they're like really annoying. He was not annoying at all. It was funny. It was gen- genuinely funny. And I hope he doesn't. Not, he's not embarrassed by me telling the story. That would I'd feel actually really bad. Um, but he is he t- t- ten hours before was like, I'm not gonna tell you anything about your your birthday gift other than this. And he hold he we're in the car and he grabs one of his nuts and he goes, What is this? He goes, What is this? And I say, Your thigh? And he's like, No, this. And I said, Your ball? And he's like, he's like, All right, that's the only that's the only hint I'm giving you. And then he told me. D- d- while he was drunk, exactly what he got me for my birthday, which mm-hmm. it was a friend ball, which I thought was cute. Friend ball, poke ball. You throw it and your friendship goes up quicker or whatever. I thought that was a very cute gift, but he told me. And I'm like, okay, this kid is intoxicated. That's very cute, though. It was very cute. This is it kid just is weird? Is every time I hear a story about someone else being too drunk, I feel like that person's faking it. Okay, this might change your mind. We are maybe maybe I've been I've, around drunk people, by the way, I've lived these stories. I'm just saying when other people tell me like a secondhand account of someone being too drunk, I almost feel like that person's like, <laughs> look just, at how drunk yeah, I am, yeah. everyone. I can tell you, like, I can tell you the, the, just not just to keep interrupting Ben, because I'm tired of him talking. Um, <laughs> when I when I was super drunk and I was playing Pokemon with Ben, I sort of knew I was making an ass of myself. But in the moment, I was just like, this is already funny but yeah, just keep funny. doing it you know what i mean so i we all live for the bit here yeah exactly right it's so true. i was drunk i knew i was playing it up but i also knew that if i didn't say anything i'd probably just pass out like i was more talking to keep myself awake yeah you know we're all doing it for the bit right but i feel like there's people out there that do it for the drama and i feel like it's the same thing it's the same ethos just one person wants like they both both sets of people want attention in this scenario. Just one person I find more annoying yeah. than the other. Yeah. So Yeah. I'm I'm all about saying that Brian didn't have a lick of alcohol that night and he was just being a little goofball, a little goofy guy. Yeah, it's, it's just that New York tap oh, water. It, exactly. Yeah, a goofball. Um, so this this'll but this will change your mind because no non intoxicated person would do this. So I'm like, he okay. Started-
<laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Not he didn't do that. He did not do that. That was one thing he did not do. But we he's like kind of he's you know, stumbling a little bit. So I'm like, yeah. okay, we're not gonna walk home. It's like a thirty minute walk. I don't wanna right. walk home. That might be a pain in the ass. Alexis called an Uber. Um we get in the Uber and, oh sorry, no, let me back up. Uh so we had Brian's to cross the street. We, Brian's intoxicated. <laughs> it's really bad, and I'll explain why that's awful in a second. He drank a um, cow. I, I had I had I had one whole coconut water just now, and it's just nonstop with me right now. And that's giving you diarrhea, dude. <laughs> context. Yeah. Um, context exactly. Uh, so we cross the street to get to this Uber, and Brian trips on a bag of New York garbage. He's running. He tries. He picks up with his hand the New York garbage and moves it. No sober person would do that. That is you horribly should, disgusting. I, I have a head in there or something. You know what I mean? And then, I don't and then know. Brian I've goes, done, "I've, I've, you, you, we, sh- we should hang out, Ben. That's all I'll say. <laughs> we should hang he, out." He immediately. Last time I, go ahead. No, you go ahead, Zach. Please. No, after you. After you. This is all your right. your show. <laughs> no way. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. When I was last time I was within in Washington D.C. with Ethan, I licked the Washington Monument. That's all I'll say. Yeah, that's really fucked. Yeah, I mean, you were intoxicated, yeah. I assume. No, <laughs> that's just un, that's unsafe. That's just what unsafe no way. people do. I may do. have been. I forget if I did that before or after I was drunk. I actually genuinely forget. But I definitely. You know, um, as a as a quick aside, um, I was seeing a therapist for OCD, like uh, not like organizing things, but like obsessive thoughts. And about cleanliness and stuff, because I, I work in a lab and sometimes I'm just like, I don't trust the people around me. I don't know their, you know, their work area looks dirty, that kind of thing. And he's a psychiatrist, not like a chemist or anything. And so he kept saying stuff like exposure therapy. He started talking about like, because um, one of the things I was talking about is like mixing chemicals. And he's like, oh, you should try um, just like having two things that say they shouldn't mix and just holding them next to each other like and which is fine which that's what just makes. just pneumonia and bleach and you pneumonia, just hold yeah. it next to well, each other to get to get comfortable with the idea the, yeah that was one of the things he said was just hold like the bleach container and the ammonia container next to each other not mixing this them thing, obviously take his license away i yeah, like so, this guy so so i was like oh maybe you know i'm sort of i'm sort of playing around with him but then he was like yeah maybe you know like one day you'll be brave enough to like lick one of the glass drink it Link, link one of the glassware. And I was like, brother, do you know what solvents we use? <laughs> I was like, I wouldn't lick that shit if it's been cleaned for days. <laughs> you know what I mean? I was like, yeah, dude. that's let alone, if, let alone like from a job perspective, if they caught you licking <laughs> lab equipment, what yeah. would happen to your yeah. job like, or any licenses you may hold? Exactly. Like, like, don't get me wrong. There are, a, a, I'm fairly rare among chem. There are a lot of chemists who are like brave or like confident around the chemicals they use. And I'm not, mm. but no chemist is gonna fucking lick glassware. Like, right. I, I know, I know. Ben wants to get into his story, but I also hate his guts. Um, so I'll just say this as a as a, and as a side. I've never considered myself anywhere near having OCD. However, I feel the exact same way you feel about chemicals, about eating food at other people's places. I have no problem going to a restaurant. I have no problem going to fast Mm -hmm. food. I have no problem cooking at home and having my own disgusting stuff. But if I'm over at someone else's house and they bring out to me their like ketchup with the ketchup around the circle, you know what I mean? Like the little not clean ketchup. It's like I do that at home. I do that at home and it's fine and I don't care. But when someone else brings me their bottle of ketchup and I'm looking at it, I'm like, I don't know if I want this. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, like no, I'm no. weird about eating food at other people's homes for some reason. Yeah, you're you're schizophrenic like me. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> is this just is this just Zach alone in a Discord call <laughs> recording this right now? <laughs> Zach, um, you have to let us go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's just just in a padded cell, and I'm just like, yeah. welcome everyone to my podcast. <laughs> <laughs> um. So, but he picks up the garbage. Sorry, I, I immediately I just cut right back. Right, no, right back in. He trips yeah, on the garbage. It. He yeah, he he picks up the garbage, <laughs> and he throws the garbage uh, to the side, and uh-huh. then he immediately take. This would trigger the fuck out of you, Sean. He took his hand. And he immediately like went like this to like pull his hair back because he has long hair. <laughs> yeah, he pulls hair back, back like that. <laughs> yeah, I would and then, shit and then Barney goes. You hear Barney say, "Don't touch the, don't touch the New York garbage, Brian." And he's like, "No, just in the fucking way." And then we get into the the Uber, and he talks, starts talking to the Uber driver. And then he goes, he goes, um, 
uh, do you, what do you think the issue is pedestrians or cars in the, in the city? And the yeah. guy goes like, no, nah, they're both retarded. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, fair enough. And he's, and then he's like, um, and then Brian goes, what about like, well, like whose fault do you think it is? And then, and the guy goes like, oh no, nah, they're all disabled. It doesn't matter. And then Brian's like, oh, okay. And then he's like, Brian's like, what do you think about bikers? And the guy does not respond. <laughs> He doesn't say a thing. And then, and so, so Brian, you know, he's trying to like play it off that that wasn't an awkward moment, but for yeah, all of yeah. us, that was like a funny, awkward moment. I was, it was, yeah, I was yeah. cracking up. I was, yeah, I couldn't yeah, stop yeah. laughing. Um, and then we get back to the hotel. And, um, we, I want to go up the ele- uh, uh, elevator. And Brian's leaning on, on the wall of the elevator, the wall with all the buttons. So he just hits a bunch of buttons on the top on the upper floors. We're on the twenty eighth floor, and so I figure we're gonna get it's one a.m. at this point. I figure we're gonna I check out the fire. I get like really bad vertigo, but what well, I, I I I have horrible fear of heights. Um, but we uh, I thought we were gonna uh, get to our our room, me and Alexis's room. Say all right, see you later. Here's your jacket. Brian left it in my room. They're gonna go to their room on the twenty second floor. That is not what happened. Um, Brian wanted to watch One Piece, the new episode, the newest episode of One Piece in my room. Fine, fair. I, I know, I know that's what he likes to do when, when you know, if it's a, did you guys cuddle night. too? We didn't cuddle. He almost <sighs> fell asleep in my bed. He started crying twice at, at a character that died, um, which is pretty funny. Um, but no, he, um, he explained this. He was kind of like backseat. Uh, uh, watching with us because he obviously knows the story and we don't because we none of us have watched all of One Piece. He's like this character. He was oh. eight years old, but he was matured by twenty years, and he's going off and he's telling all these different like little pieces, right? I'm I'm the biggest culprit of that, but I hate it when anyone else does it to me. I'm the guy like this is the good part. Yeah, yeah, wait, yeah this I, part I'm, right here. I'm this the same part right way. Here's great. I notice this it, part. I notice myself do it. I hate it, but I, I do the same. I thing. I hate though. it about myself too. Yeah. But like, if I'm, if I love something, yeah. Like if I love something, yeah, yeah. If yeah, you, you like, do that, like, you do that with. If I you, love, yeah, if I love. <laughs> um, but he tells all of this right, and then he's like, "All right, let's find the most recent episode." And he plays the same episode again, not knowing that he played the same uh, same episode again, and re-explains everything. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like. I'm, I'm talking actually, to Barney. I'm talking to Barney so next to me. Funny. And I was like, wait, if he says this right now, we're watching the same exact episode. You should just start like speaking alongside him verbatim and just well, really freak him out. That's that you essentially know that, everything. That's essentially what I was like thinking about doing. But Barney goes, Brian, is this, this is this the same episode we just all watched? Because we're all sitting in this room watching One Piece, not knowing what the fuck is going on. And Brian's like, wait, no, is it? And we're like 15 minutes through the episode. <laughs> out of a 20 minute episode and he had no idea and then uh i mean and then that, uh, from there he, they just went down to their hotel gave everybody you know everybody gave everybody a hug and it was it was all jolly Dude, good i i love being like fucking piss drunk and you have no idea what it was happening. it was it was a it was a really good time i think everybody like if brian was a more annoying person i could see how that would be a bad thing for anybody but he's such so good natured and so nice yeah. and just so funny yeah, that it, it was a really good time. I kind of um, fucking hate him after hearing that. Yeah, fuck <laughs> that shit, dude. Fuck that little bitch. Yeah. You now that I think about it. Um, but I will say one thing that of drama that we had when we first got to New York was we were trying to get into our hotel room and theirs wasn't ready. Mine was. So I say, OK, uh, come up King to my hotel castle. room. King of the castle. Yeah, I'm like, come up, come up, come, up, come up to my hotel room. We could just uh, hang out there for a little bit. Yeah, he gets like scissor or something. We get scissor or something. Cuddle. And we, we get there. We get there and it reeks of weed and there's ash on the window. Yeah. When I saw this, I'm just going to be honest with you. I turned to Haley and I showed because uh, Barney shared the picture of the. Yeah. Uh, it's like a, a couple bits of ash on the window. I turned to Haley and I was like, holy shit, my friends are pussies. Like, all I can think of was, <laughs> like, with all due respect, I was just Listen, like. You'll, you'll understand why I. I <laughs> So he got secondhand smoke from the two I, I, I specks of ash fuck. on the window. No, so the, I, I I sat there and I was like, I don't really care. I'll just open the window. Sure, sure. And sure. then Barney was like, You don't want them to think it was you that smoked in here. I said, Oh, okay. That, I mean, that oh, is a good that's point. That's not how I interpreted that story because yeah. you sent you sent a picture, and I, this is not blaming Barney now, but I mean, I'm blaming Barney, but I'm yeah. not like you sent the picture of the ash in the window and it was like literally like you could count the specks of ash. Yeah. Yeah. It was. And, then, it was and, and, and Barney said something like Ben's talking to the front office now. 
Yeah. And I was like, I was like, <laughs> no what context. A pussy. Yeah, I was like, what a fucking pussy. Like, no, my, no. I, I just went down like, there. I said, I said, listen. Um, I don't really care that much. I, I, I shouldn't have said this because I could have probably gotten a discount if I didn't. But I was like, I don't really care that much. But someone clearly just smoked in the room. I just don't want you to think it was me. And they moved me to a different room, which I'm like, it's okay. a shame you don't actually smoke because it would have been a baller move to walk into a pristine room, just light up a fucking fat so blunt and then go down and said, be like, and be like, actually, someone just smoked. In <laughs> yeah, that, that that we did a joke about that. But what was funny is that they were there. We waited like an hour. We go down back to the lobby. They're trying to get their room. And then, mind you, they said it would be ready at 4. This is 6 p.m. now that mm-hmm. they're trying to get in the room. And they're like, yeah, it's still not ready. Someone smoked weed in there. Two different rooms. Someone smoked weed in. It's New York. They just allowed it, you know? So we thought when I was leaving the first room I was in, the there were there were two, two buddy buddy janitors that were giving us shit and like cracking up and we're like those fuckers are so dumb that they clean the room and then they smoked in the room instead of doing it the other way around that was that was the running theory oh but I, okay okay yeah. that's probably a good theory yeah um, oh, game theory yeah a game, anyway. a game theory pat mad pat yeah yeah but that was a little drama that- i heard someone say bad <laughs> things about him before was that what it was i don't think <laughs> he- no, bad pat is he's sitting here he he's 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 said his people got (laughs) three times throughout the course of this episode yeah well i i'm trying not to be racist here yeah Yeah, as long as he's not racist Mm -hmm. yeah i give him some underprivileged community yeah right uh, right exactly exactly. yeah but that was that was my new york trip that's new york trip part two i think it's my second new york trip i I wish okay. I, had, I, I I do wish I had gone. Haley told me that I should have gone. She she told me I was sort of an asshole for not going. I just like the I'd have to take the train separately, and it it was just like this whole thing where I was yeah, like, the thing is, it's like um, I like spending time with you guys. Why wasn't I invited? That's you know, a great Zach, question. This is a great question. It's because I didn't want you there. <laughs> uh, so no, yeah, so we no. didn't think we could get away with all. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that's true, actually, though. Get a few drinks in Zach, and he's... <laughs> <laughs> that's not what my joke was, but okay. <laughs> um, so... Um, okay. Yeah, cut. Cut yeah, it cut, out. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> all right, so this, there's some... There is some group? There, there is some drama surrounding this that it wasn't really drama at all, but it was... I I was, in for 2.5 seconds, offended that only two people came to my birthday celebration. Mm-hmm. But then I'm like, I'm also asking them to go a state away, potentially take off time from work. I can't be that mad. But one thing that pissed me the fuck off is we have a friend, Joe, that literally for my birthday was going to go fuck, a, fuck some girl that he knew from high school. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, Joseph. But... My birthday. <laughs> I'm like, what the hell? You can watch if you want. That'd be a good. That'd be a fun birthday present. Then Joseph, what the fuck is with this? I mean, I'm, I'm obviously, I'm, I, I don't. It's so funny because um, so he, he did was, not advertise it. So I just want to say, I just want to add a, add an asterisk. He did not advertise it as he was going to go fuck somebody. I filled in those, those lines. No, he he was. But the thing is, <laughs> what was, what was really funny was that he was going to leave on I think Saturday or Sunday to, to go. Cause I think he wanted to swing by your house before he go to <laughs> house. But, um, uh, he texted me cause he, he told me like, Hey, I'm going to be there at 8 AM so we can both have coffee. And I was like, Oh great. Yeah. There's this really good family owned coffee shop. We can get, I just said coffee, coffee shop, coffee Happy. shop. Um, <laughs> the Boston, let the Boston yeah. flow within you. Um, co- the coffee shop. Uh, and I was like, yeah. So Haley had, uh, had to go to work. It was a Saturday. She does um, the suicide hotline shit in the morning. Oh, she and, wants to your tape. <laughs> and uh, uh, top G, dude. Top uh, G. Anyway, <laughs> so he texts me at nine a.m. saying, uh, "Oh yeah, I haven't left yet." And then um, I think at like ten, <laughs> he left at ten. So he ended up not. I I was awake for an eight a.m. coffee with uh, Joe, and she didn't get to my apartment till one. So um, I just I day drank. Him. I just day drank because Haley wasn't home. So so what? When I I so it, it was kind of crazy. So after we um 
after that night in New York, the day after Alexis and I kind of spent a little time, just us two, walking around New York, we went to the Japanese cafe and actually just sat down and got some food and stuff there. Yeah, I'm glad to hear that. And... <laughs> That's not a meme. I, I am glad. I, I know that's not sarcastic as fuck, but I am, I am so, glad. So we, then we go home and I, I'm like, Alexis, please c- come back. Cause she was going to just going to go back to, to New Jersey. I was like, yeah, please yeah, come yeah. back to Connecticut, please. So she did. And it was good. It was a surprise. Cause Brian was like, Oh, let's watch the game on Sunday. And Zach, I messaged you on Sunday. Oh um, yeah. And she, um, uh, <laughs> I was like, Brian was like, oh, let's watch the game on Sunday. We can just hang out because it's like a good, like, yeah, to get the thing to do. I don't care about football, but I just, this is what's exciting. Yeah, you got him. A and I, was feeding, I was feeding him things to say. He was, he was. And it was pretty funny, actually. And I'll, and I'll get to that in a second. But Joe, Joe did show up for that. Uh, I only saw Joe for about three hours. I haven't seen him in the last, like, six to eight months. But He's lost. It was a good time. And I like Joe. I love Joe. He said I smell good, even though I farted. So I thought that was really nice. You think the Eagles are going to win or the Chiefs? This, this is, is this me? Is in the Super Bowl. This is for me? Is this yeah, what do you think? Yeah, what do you think? No, those are the ones that are playing. Uh, exactly. I like the sudden shift in topics. To, uh, in, no, uh, it's show. football, right? Yeah, it's football, man. Who's going to um, win? Who's going to win, Zach? Tell me. Uh, I think the Eagles are going to win because I like Eagles sounds better than Chiefs. Yeah, that's kind of yeah, where I'm at. Uh, fuck the Eagles. Okay. All right, the Chiefs are winning. Um, <laughs> Okay, you so, should know oh, the, from, oh, the, from, oh, the, from oh, the from the from the football stuff I've worn on this show. You should know that I'm not an Eagles fan. Oh, there was I'm a guy that kept going up to Brian. Is, I'm directly opposed to the Eagles. There's never I, a scenario. There's I'm not never going to be a single scenario on earth where I want to see the Eagles win anything. I have oh, no idea any, uh, anything about football. So today, when Brian told me it was going to be the Eagles and the Chiefs, I said uh, I think the Eagles are going to win because they sound good. And Barney was like, "Yeah, they're going to win," and I was like, "Okay." <laughs> when we were in New York, you want to put bets? Sure, fuck it. I'll put Draft $50 Kings, on dude, or whatever. Was that DraftKings? This is sponsored by FanDuel. FanDuel. <laughs> yeah, FanDuel, that's the one. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you you were feeding me things to say, Zach, and I kind of got what you meant by what you were saying. Like obviously, like I know the Patrick Mahomes is whatever, and I was I was saying I was saying everything that you I were saying. Think, yeah. It would be a silence and I would be yeah. like, no, no, no. Cut out, cut out what Sean just said about Michael Vick. When you say Patrick Mahomes, just put up a picture of Michael Vick and don't explain it. Just think <laughs> okay, that, that just enough. pretend like that's <laughs> what you enough. think Patrick fair Mahomes enough. is. So I, so <laughs> it, you, I, when it, as soon as there's full silence, I go, Patrick Mahomes is overrated. And I just put the phone back in my pocket, <laughs> just like that. And they're like, they're like, does someone tell you to say that? Because they know that I don't know. And I'm like, yeah, exactly. Like whatever. But um, that's actually very funny. It was, it was, it was pretty good. Um, and then, and then, my, uh, Patrick Mahomes. I don't care about football, but he threw the ball. I think his hands were so cold that it just fell out of his hands. It was pretty funny to watch. <laughs> the to cartoon be honest. slide whistle. Yeah. Right? The, yeah. I can't, I'm smiling. It's hard to whistle when you're smiling, yeah. but then. That little whistle, yeah, thing, yeah, yeah. That little slip yeah, yeah. whistle thing, and it fell right out of his head. It was pretty funny. Um, anyway, um, so, so I saw right. Joe. I saw Joe. I had a Corona beer, and I had some pizza. Um, ben, your girlfriend's hijacking the general chat again. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that <laughs> I is. Actually, I like that. I like that picture. <laughs> I don't I know what that was is. Drake, for a half a for a half a millisecond, I thought that was Drake, dude. It might be. I don't know who that is. <laughs> is that Jersey Drake? Is that, is, is that me from today? No. That looks like the hoodie you were wearing on the last episode. It might have been. I don't know. Maybe it was like when I was testing my camera in the last episode. I'm not sure. Um, but <laughs> <laughs> but uh, did you guys? Did, did you, Sean? Did you have a good five episodes off? Uh, yeah, we, we fired him. I wanted, I wanted to congratulate you guys. You guys are making a lot of uh, like, I, I'm really excited to see where you guys go straight to hell. Yeah. Yep. yep. 455 something subs. on I'm, uh, I'm really trying to kick myself in the uh, I, like, um, what happened to your little ghoul podcast you were working on? Yeah, 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 yeah. So you, actually, you made a show about like little green guys that want money. <laughs> the little green guys that want money. You know, you know what he's talking about. <laughs> Yeah, the little uh, green guys with big noses that run around and, and they, they want and they your make, money. And they make like different types of fabrics in their 
Yeah, their, their names company. are like uh, Goldstein and Schlesinger, and um, yes, exactly. See, yeah, you get, yeah, you're right, exactly. <laughs> hey, don't point. blame, don't blame Sean for that one. Blame whoever wrote that fantasy novel that we're yeah. referencing. Which one right. was that? Was that Tolkien? Oh, oh, okay, what, yeah, yeah. What, yeah or was that, or right. was that J.K. Rowling? Who wrote the Who wrote no, the right, fantasy right, novel right. where there's like a little ghoul gremlin race people. that's yeah, very clearly supposed to be an allegory for Jewish people? Yeah. That's a thing. I've never heard about this. Oh yeah, J.K. Um, J.K. Rowling. Job. <laughs> Fucking J.R.R. Tolkien. I don't know if he hated Jews, but he definitely wrote a race of people that used J- negative Jewish stereotypes. Okay, interesting. I did not know that. Yeah, yeah. Um, what the elves were Christians, and they got to go to heaven. That was sort of like the end. Who were the Muslims? Um, that's actually a really great question. I I think. I am not a Tolkien expert, so my dad would correct me immediately because my dad is like a huge. He's read like literally everything. Um, I want to say it's like the orcs because the orcs are like corrupted elves. They like uh, mutate and like um, um, tor- they torture the elves until they turn black. And uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> could be. You know, yeah, I mean, it, it could. It could definitely. Um, so the orcs uh, are Muslim, eh? But like, uh, but, um, yeah, mashallah. <laughs> um, <laughs> But no, um, uh, I I don't I don't I don't know that for sure. But I know that the orcs are corrupted elves; they're tortured elves or whatever. So I think uh, if if anything, I don't know. I saw a TikTok the other day, and it was um, this pregnant lady, and she's smoking cigarettes rapidly until the baby turns black, and then she gives birth to a black baby. She's smoking. That's bad. She has a baby. What the fuck? Explain. Go ahead. Oh, uh, it was like a racist. It's one <laughs> of those racist let, let TikToks. Let <laughs> oh, she's like burning like yeah like, yeah it was one of those it's one of those tiktoks you find that's just racist and uh yeah she's a pregnant lady that smokes cigarettes until her baby turns black and then she gives uh birth to a black baby oh, when in the I was, same um, vein when i was in four, four when, I was, when i was four years old in school when i was four years old in school i, I just got like the transition that's it i um i had like uh, I don't know when you're like four you like latch on weirdly to people I, maybe that was just like an autistic thing that I did but like I had um I went to preschool and there were like numerous counselors there latching like, on to people isn't going to preschool is sure um <laughs> <laughs> sure so in, in preschool there was this woman named <laughs> who I like she was like a second mom to me like I don't know like everywhere I went it was always like I just talked to her like I didn't really hang out with other kids I just talked with Miss Williams a lot. And I loved chocolate. She loved chocolate. And one day she was like, oh, yeah, you know, I used to eat so much chocolate, but I had to stop. And I assume now as an adult, she probably just had like diabetes or something. But as a kid, I'm like, that's what turns you black. Like, that's what I just said. Out I was like, that's what turns you black. And, and she literally was like. Oh no! You don't have to worry about that. <laughs> and and uh, my mom came to pick me up and went to my mom and it's like, listen, I'm not upset or anything, but you should probably talk to your son about how black people work because you like cause <laughs> how black people work. Because she she literally was like and the same jobs as white people. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Just less pet racist. But, but she was like, uh, she was like, yeah, he asked me if chocolate turned me black. And my mom was, my mom tells me she's just the most embarrassing story that she knows of me. Cause I just, That's pretty good. To be fair, I, I had, I have a very similar story. Actually. I also, I was born in Massachusetts. So we're right there, brother. And it was a while. I eventually ended up living in Maryland and a very much more diverse community. But I also lived like West Virginia and a bunch of places too. But West the very Virginia. first time, very first time this seeing a, a black man, because I was mm-hmm. in, lived in an incredibly sheltered area until I was like two or three years old, like very sheltered. Um, I saw a black guy at a store and I walked up to him. And apparently, according to my family, I started tugging on his shirt and saying, sir, sir, you're burnt like toast. You're burnt like toast. <laughs> I didn't know. I just That's thought, so like, I, th- I yeah, thought yeah, some. Yeah. I thought he had like a medical emergency or something. Yeah, he yeah burnt kids, like toast. It's, it's crazy. Kids have no idea. Like, I, yeah, it's it's uh, expose your kids to black people, please. <laughs> yeah, please, <laughs> please. <laughs> to prevent us, to prevent this <laughs> thing from happening. Um, yeah, I never but, had anything like that happen to me. Um, because you're I, perfect and not racist at all. I'm Have I not told you my 9 11 story before? Uh oh, you did 9 11. Yes, you told me you did. Did 9 11. Have I told you the story of why I'm banned from the dollar 9/11. store or oh. Dollar Tree? 
due to 9 11. No. Have I said the story about how no. dollar how 9 11 caused me to get permanently banned from the dollar store? No. Okay, I guess sipping okay, my tea. So I'm 24 years old. Oh, so this was right young age. If you check down below, this video was released September 11th, 2001. Um, <laughs> I'm 24 years old. My birthday is in September. Um, not September 11th, but pretty close to it. And for whatever reason, okay, um, it's a Saturday, September 11th. <laughs> it's a Saturday that this year is good. That's good. <laughs> you, know what, you could, you could, with that information, figure it out. But um, you know, for whatever reason, we were celebrating my birthday, my not 11th. on my birthday, oh. but afterwards due to some scheduling conflict or whatever and, and 9 11 was, <laughs> well yeah well, nah. well 9 11 was my very first memory because i was supposed to go to chuck e cheese's and meet people but instead i ended up at church with my mom's friend yeah. osama bin laden but, but, yeah. but so it, that that didn't happen so <laughs> <whatever the fuck. laughs> Um, but so the so the 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 the, the very it's the very next day after 9-11 so 9-11 happens and the damn supposed to be celebrating my birthday yeah um derails the whole thing yeah. my aunt drives in the town and keep in mind we're living in maryland at this time uh oh, yeah, so like close. we're yeah, yeah. we're we're near dc we're like yeah. commuting distance to washington dc mm-hmm. um my aunt drives in the town and picks me up and brings me to the dollar store Mer- and not it, dc when you say drive into town no, into the town in yeah. Maryland. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, not actually in the city of Washington, D.C. Right, right. But um, so my aunt drives in the town, picks me up, takes me to the dollar store. And she says, Zach, I want you to pay. I have like five dollars or something. Right. But she was like, you can pick out anything you want in the store and it's yours for the birthday. Any any like two or three things as a kid, as like a really yeah. little kid. Yeah. That's a, yeah. that's a big thing. But like. You know, to an adult, that's like three dollars. It's a good trick, by the way. Yeah. Um. So she that's says how that I get to my me. Kids, yeah. <laughs> 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 she 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 says that to me as we walk into the, the Dollar Tree. Yeah. And keep in mind, for context, I have been seeing nothing but cool, kick-ass explosions on yeah. TV yeah. for the past day, and so I exclaim loudly and proudly in the Dollar Tree lobby. I want to buy airplanes and crash them into buildings. <laughs> and I was, I was what a, removed from the Dollar Tree. Yeah, yeah, what a yeah. memory. Or my like, what a thing I, to say. My sister and I were kicked out of a McDonald's. Um, this was the, the day place. after 9 11, by the way. This is not sure, like a, yeah. Yeah, a week yeah, later. This yeah. was like, this just happened like the well, day you know what's, before. This is a, a quick aside to, to sort of Haley was cleaning th- out her uh, childhood uh, room. And she found a bunch of old drawings, and she actually does have a blueprints drawing. to the twin towers. She actually has a <laughs> schematics. A, she actually has a crayon drawing of the twin towers and a plane in the background. Yeah, who and doesn't though? Who doesn't? I don't know. Yeah, that's a great question. Who doesn't? I know one guy. <laughs> I know one guy that does not have that. <laughs> <laughs> but um, um go ahead. but I got yeah, I, I got kicked out like pretty at a pretty young age. I might have been like four or five out of a McDonald's. My sister and I. Uh, cause we went to the ball pit and, uh, I don't remember exactly what happened, but I threw up everywhere in the ball, <laughs> just all over. And it wasn't like I tried to keep it in one spot. It was like, I threw up and then I walked yeah. over to the other corner of the ball pit. I kept throwing up and I didn't get out. So they were like, yeah, don't bring your kids back here again. So. Oh, that had nothing to do with nine eleven, dude. Well, well was, was I thought you were going to say like, like, <laughs> <laughs> you're telling me if you were a kid banned from McDonald's, yeah, that wouldn't be like would, the most tragic part of your life. That would, if that happened to me today, that would be the most tragic thing in my life. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. actually not allowed within 15 feet of McDonald's, crazy enough. Is it only the ones with the slides and stuff? The inside? children, yeah, right. Yeah. The only the ones that have children. <laughs> <laughs> Um, there's some there's some crazy 911 stories though you know number yeah, like chief, of which, <laughs> chief of which <laughs> chief of which being 911. <laughs> um, no, have you heard about the guy that surfed 911? Go ahead, Sir? please continue. The guy please who continue. surfed 911. It was this. Um, uh, th- I'm going to completely butcher the story, but there was this office worker really uh-huh. high up on the floor who I, I I don't know if he was one of the ones that made a 911 call or not, but um, essentially he was up so high higher than the impact of he the was airplane. Gonna die, right yeah right like we're th- past the point where like almost 100 percent of people died like there was just no way you were getting down there but he was well, able you were, to sur- you were getting down <laughs> well, yeah <laughs> the point there's no way that you're surviving the incident, <laughs> yeah, right <laughs> um 
except for this one guy who was up so high in like the like perfect position for when the tower because you've seen the footage of the tower collapsing right it doesn't go yeah. like that it like collapses in on itself yeah, yeah yeah you know that's like a big point of conspiracy theories is what building collapsed like that um but he happened to be positioned so high up to the point where when the building fell it pushed all the air up and so he was able to like have himself on the debris as the air was getting pushed up from the tower falling and it literally floated him down the safety. He was like one of the only people that survived a drop from like that distance. So he surfed nine 11. That is the that, that, South tower, North tower. I don't, I don't know. I don't remember. That that's, that's pretty bad. Wait, though. wait, real quick though, before we let's just let this off to the internet, Ben, Put a fact check on the screen or not, whether or not this story is true, because it sounds like horse shit, but I'm pretty sure Deal. this is a real story. I'll just Google the guy uh, that surfed at 9-11. Surfed 9-11. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. There's cool other 9-11 stories, too. But. So many cool 9-11 stories. Yeah. I had a, I had a, when I was young. 9-11 young, was cool. Dope, even. I would, I would. All right. I, I just say. lost any job opportunity. Uh, yes. right there. Oh. So I. Had an idea. I I was so blown away by this. When I was a kid, and I went to a Christian school. I said, "Oh, I would like to design a video game someday where you stop all the bad things from happening. Like you, you are you like show up any, in the plane like every video game, you dumb retard. Like what are you <laughs> <laughs> so, for example, I uh, you teleport into the plane of one of the ta- planes that were going to go into the tower, and you just pull up. No and, you, and you just and you just you you know you kill the hijackers yeah. and then you you fly away. That was like the idea. Oh, okay. So like the concept is like it's a multi-story game in which yes. all the like bad events happen. All the tragedies. The Hindenburg. The, <laughs> the, 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 the yeah, the guy who on brought on. the fucking tax on the Hindenburg. Like, dude, come on, you're on a you're on a balloon. Yep, yep. that exactly you that. That was exactly his, what I was thinking as a you child. You confiscate his little tax and then yeah. you save the Hindenburg. <laughs> you murder the captain of the Titanic and move the steering wheel slightly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, but that was my idea, and then the, my teacher said, "Oh, that sounds like being the Antichrist." <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like I, that perplexed me for years. I think she just misheard me. Thinking, thinking back, I think she just must have misheard that sure, what I was yeah. going for. But I'm like, but yeah, as a kid, that fucks you up because you're like, what? Yeah. So my brain's like, is this a wrong thing? And then I'm like, oh, be, all these bad things happen, so good things came out of it. You know, that's how like that's how things work. Like okay. bad things happen, okay. good things. So that's she's how my talk, brain she's comprehended butterfly it. affecting it, God's mysterious right. ways. And I was like, yada, what yada, the fuck yada. are you talking about? Anti- yeah, but you probably shouldn't just cause 3, random. People. Random children, the Antichrist. You probably should provide more context. I was so confused by that. It sounds like the Antichrist. It's funny. Like, there's a part of me. I think some people might not believe that story, but I'll tell you a a corroborating story, not of that same woman. But when I was in second grade, I had a a teacher, Miss, who I don't stalks the teacher fully. I don't. I don't remember why she hated me, but she she actually genuinely hated me, and. um my she ran into my mom at a stop and shop i was like so i she was my second grade teacher this is when i was in fourth grade so two years later she runs into my mom at the stop and shop and she's like pregnant and my mom goes oh my god congratulations you know whatever and the woman miss literally tells my mom i'll be lucky if it's nothing like your son and my mom, my mom was like, I almost boom like, roasted. This, I almost fought this woman like in the stop and shop just now. Oh, sorry, I just a fucking earthquake me. over there. <laughs> so whoa, whoa, whoa. so wow, wait, the wait. wind chills getting really bad. You guys. Is your I, I I don't see your mom as a def- defensive of her kids. Is that the case? Oh, my mom, my mom will throw hands. Any, I mean, uh, uh, just like, my mom is pretty defensive of me. Yeah. Do you want to have like um, a creator clash, but for like our moms? Moms, yeah, mom, Mom, mommy clash, mom clash. Mm, Yeah, we got to think of a better like. We got to think of alliteration. Yeah, mommy match or something like that. (laughs) Yeah, Um, that would be good. One of my teachers fight though. One of my teachers in middle school was pregnant, and a kid punched her in the stomach. That's that's horrible. Why would he do that? I'm pretty sure he was like murder. actually expelled for school. I don't no, know what one, happened to him. A kid in my town put bleach in my in one of the teachers' coffee. That's crazy. Uh, teacher. A kid in my town dunked my head in a toilet and made me eat out of a dog bowl. In a kid in your town, killer so <laughs> Me multiple. <laughs> Did you guys actually? That's a great. That's a great point. I had a story slapper, recently. Slapper. I had I had a story 
I had a, How is that uh, a great point? I have a, I had a dream recently. <laughs> I had a dream recently about somebody that Martin killed Luther themselves. King? Of I, killing I, yourself? Like the I, I Martin had a Luther dream. King of killing yourself? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I had a what dream. That, what does that mean? I had a dream that um, I woke up and I was like, why don't we talk anymore? And then it hit me in my ha- half day state. Oh, she died seven years ago. Do you guys hey. have somebody that some at the, in, your, in your day state or something that you're just like, oh, why don't we talk anymore that, that are, <laughs> are dead? Am I just fucking crazy? Um, Am I just a crazy, crazy person? Oh, um, this is not someone I know that actually is dead, but I had a crazy, um, I had the craziest spam message of all time. Um, I, I know that Sean wants to say something, obviously, but I'll, 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 I'll set this up. You're good, you're good. You get a lot of spam messages recently. It's increased, wouldn't you agree, that you've just been general, been getting more spam yeah, I messages and callers and everything. Oh, on phone. Yes, on yeah, on the phone. Yeah, my I'm, I'm, my 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 phone number is cracked. I, I, it's broken. I can't. What does I, that mean? Your phone number is cracked. I my phone number is like twenty years old. I I I will never. I get no calls other than spam calls. That's why, dude. I the very first phone number I have. Actually, it's funny. You, if you call my phone number and let it go to voicemail, you'll hear me when I'm like nine or ten years old. Can we do that? Yeah, totally. You can actually a hundred percent. You can you can do that. Okay, I'm, I'm, gonna bleep, I'm gonna bleep your number, obviously, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, um, I will send it to you over chat here. Okay, it's um nine seven eight. What's your number? Um, His but really quick, is- really quick before you call, you can get it set up while I explain this. So I'm out drinking at a bar. This is like a month ago, right? Sure. sure, sure. Um, I. I am in this speakeasy bar, right? It's like a secret bar. You have to know the password to get in and you go underground and you have very little connection when you're in this bar. Like the internet is like cut Mm -hmm. out a lot. Mm -hmm. I know this sounds like a John Wick movie, but I promise you this is a real bar that I visit in the area. So I'm sitting in the basement of the speakeasy and I get a Facebook message from someone that I haven't spoken to in like five years. Right. Someone I knew from Maryland, went to like middle school with and just kept in touch. I get a message. Look who died in an accident. I think you know her. Dot, dot, dot. That's fucked up. That message comes through to my phone and I can't load the link because the connection's so bad. I can only get the text. I cannot load the link. And like I'm hanging out with a bunch of people and I'm like. Yeah, that's like, that's <laughs> like a genuinely I mean? like, concerning thing. Yeah, I'm like, what? And I, I like go out and I speak to the bouncer. This bouncer, I would say was a good person because he let me out. But this guy actually ghosted me for an hour. He's put my name on a wait list to go in. And then I waited an hour and I walked back and there was no bouncer. So I walked in and it was empty. <laughs> Fuck that guy. <laughs> but, Fuck um, that guy, dude. He and, anyways, but so I walk outside, fine. I convince him, like, dude, if I go out, can I be let back in? You see me. This might be an emergency. I walk out and it's just very clearly like a spam message yeah. when I like click on the link and I'm like, oh god damn it. But yeah. like because I didn't have internet, it was like that was the closest oh, yeah. a spam message has gotten to getting to me because I was freaking out. I was like, who do I know that just died? You know what yeah. I mean? That yeah. like well, someone yeah. we went to high school just got arrested for breaking and entering. Put it on yeah, screen. Yeah, we had we had some funky people in our high school. Mm-hmm. No, I, I went to such I, huge high schools that I know people that did like plenty of crime. Is that one of those uh, things you shouldn't talk about? Is people that did crimes from your high school? Like, obviously, you don't say the names, but is that like? I don't. I think it depends on how much you do it. Because I think if you go through and just dox, like not dox, but if you just put on blast every single person that's committed a crime from your high school. I don't think there's anything illegal about that, but I think you might get messed up by someone. I think if you just bring up one example and say, oh, I went to high school with this dude, that's crazy. I don't think that's awful. There's a person that we went to high school with that allegedly killed his girlfriend. Whoa. I used to record music for him. Rap? Yeah, that case was yeah. interesting because... You rapped for a murder, a real murderer? His... I his didn't. I, family, I recorded the raps. Yes. Yeah. You're, it's you're interesting because real, real hood, like, real hood shit. That's fucking <laughs> right, dude. His whole family, so his whole family maintained his innocence, and the court eventually did throw out the evidence that was used to incarcerate him. 
Mm. Like he was released early. W. <laughs> but but the story they, <laughs> the, the story they gave was not believable. It's just that the evidence was also not believable. Yeah. You know yeah, what I mean? The story, that, I think the, I think the they story were like, out. they were like, yeah. oh, she shotgunned herself in the face, and it's like oh, sitting on his lap. It's like, yeah. it's like yeah. all those. Lap. It's like mm. it's like all those comp suicides where they where they tie their hands behind their back and shoot themselves in the back of the head five times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So, but but it's like, but the apparently the evidence was not good because. They didn't measure the angle properly or something. And I, uh, there was like this whole thing. I hate it when that like, happens. Where it's like, well, it's possible that she did shoot herself. And it's like, okay, well, I mean, listen, you know, free or whatever, but. Allegedly. Um, if I was to ever oh. shoot myself, I'd make sure it was in a position that would be very oh. difficult. Oh, yeah, like to... not the shotgun like behind me. Like, that would be funny. <laughs> oh, as fuck. oh, uh, this might be incredibly triggering for people if they haven't already left. But I have um, two different ways I plan on killing myself. Do you okay. want to hear it before you yeah. call me? I would love to. Yeah. I would love to hear that. Yeah. Actually. So number two is more creative than number one. Number one, I want to mount an automatic assault rifle on my desk. Put like a stick through the trigger hole, take both of my hands and slam it down so it like unloads a full cr- clip like through my brain. Yeah, okay, that'd be kind of creative. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. Number two is more creative. I want to take a uh, razor wire and wrap it around my neck and then glue my hands to my head and then jump off the roof so that way it looks like I ripped my own head off when it cuts my head off clean. That's cool. Oh, that that's pretty actually, rad. Actually, that would be like I told Ben in high school that I would like kill myself and hang him hang myself from the ceiling fan in his house so yeah. that like he'd mm-hmm. come home from school mm-hmm. and i would just be like rotating mm-hmm. around his one head. leg is just yeah just like, as i'm walking was, in the door like that would be funny as yeah. fuck right like if you go yeah like that. dude there was a moment that just reminded me slapping my face so unrelated to the com- topic at hand but joe didn't go what did he say he was like he had a few drinks and he went um, I'm going to jump off a roof and cut off my own he head. Just, he just <laughs> jumped off. No, he said, um, why uh, did I drink too much? Why is my face numb or something like that? And he just started going like this, like over and over again, just mm. while well, it was Sweet, completely silent off. in the room. It was just weird. Uh, let's let's hear the, what little Zach has to say about your suicide, though. If I hang up, does it not? Do I have to let it go? Or yeah, you have up? to let it. You have to let it go. Ah. I was gonna put my phone up. That's just your. It's just your phone number. <laughs> 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 I hope it goes on for like two hours. There you go. Um, thank you for calling Zachary Marshall. Please have a nice day. Leave me a message and I'll try to get you back. And thank you for calling. Bye. Hey, you fucking little okay. bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. I was told I saw, that I should I change like that. that until I was 17 years old. That's crazy. I, I I was told I should change that for like job interviews and like back when I was like um you know trying to apply for schools just, and shit. I just realized but, yeah, like if you apply to jobs, they'll call that. Hey, like, Zach. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I, my daddy won't come to the phone right now. Uh, well, that'd be better because then it would sound like actually it was my kid. This is me saying hi, I'm Zachary, and it makes it sound like I'm an actual physical child. That's true. <laughs> Which I was told I should change for actually getting jobs and working with clients and stuff. But I find I find it charming. That I've had the same voicemail since I first got a phone, which was just an emergency phone, by the way, at the time. It wasn't oh, yeah. like I had like a real smart, like a real iPhone back in the yeah. day. It was just like call your parents and the cops if you're getting, you right. know. Yeah, like the fireflies you could buy at fucking Walmart or whatever. Yeah. Is that a thing? I, I don't know what that is. Yeah, you could you buy like the. Uh, it wasn't a firefly, but it was a cheap. Yeah, you'd buy like a phone and Android it would look like phone. a Nokia. Yeah, and it would just be like you had five buttons to call. It was like five phone numbers was, on your it was like one or it was like one of the f- first or second versions of Android or something like that. Like it was like very early on, like Android hmm. shit. Yeah, mm. I, I had a I had a fucking I've had flip phones until 2019. By the way, um, can I explain your ass for once? Oh or? yeah, so I, uh, cr- uh, my older coconut brother water cook the coconut water. My my older brother made us a a, a foreign dish with like pork chops. And like um, a a 
Um, I was it's a foreign good. dish, everyone. It's a, it was like apple cider reduction. Never mind what's in it. He ate a foreign dish. I today. ate a foreign dish, and my ass is grass, bro. I keep farting. Chris is doing great. He's making very good food and my, making me fart a lot. My face after two foreign dishes. <laughs> <laughs> is this gonna be the new bit? Is this foreign dishes? I said. <laughs> I told him. I don't know. I don't know what four the inch dishes. Four. That's. You know, four dishes off of four inch dishes. This is four inches, right? Yeah, this is four inches, right? Um, so hey. he said, he said, he said it was, um, uh, he something that Chris really gets into is he's like, oh, you have to feel like you're traveling to the place for the food that you're making. And each individual thing should be a thing in your mouth that you can taste and you can travel to that place. So I said, I don't know what the fuck he made, but I said I traveled to an Argentinian beach and everybody agreed. So. You look like you traveled to an Argentinian it's beach. The, it's the tan, right? When you I was going to say blue beach, hair, blonde eyes. Do you mean to say, yeah, I was going to say, do you mean to say you escaped Germany and went to Argentina? And there we go. And now you're getting it. I'm happy you guys get it. You but, did get a comment actually saying you look like Messi. I don't know why someone commented that, but someone said that Ben looked like Messi. That's true. Comment. That's, that's Messi. true. I, when I used to do Omegle, people said I looked like PewDiePie, and I'm like, yeah, if his eyes had like three inches more between Well, you them. are racist, so. So that's in the, the <laughs> bridge. Like Everything's a like bridge you, to me. Yeah. <laughs> what can I say? Oh, you look like you'd be pretty angry. angry. Yeah. You'd look like you'd be pretty angry on a bridge. I'm just yeah. saying. Bridges Dude, seem to I, piss you off. When I was in um, Berlin, they were protesting a lot of things at the time, right? Like Chief of Hmong, which was the... Uh, why do I keep saying Chief Among Witch today? Chief Among Us back then was a. Uh, what are you talking dun, dun, about? Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> what are you talking about? The Bergamister from. Uh... <laughs> I don't know why that made me laugh. Just seeing Ben, no context, get up and angrily walk off screen was really funny to me. Burgermeister? Zach. Benjamin. Zach, you made me this. And before it gets too late, I want to drink this. So okay, can we should do, I can save we coffee my break? Story? Uh, I, I mean, wait, wait. So, I, so, so you can finish your story. You can finish. I, I didn't know. You, I, I forgot you were in the middle of the story. But I, I just wanted to let you know yeah. we are. It is now ten forty four. I need to drink it soon. Go ahead. I'll give I'll give context for that in just a second. But to wrap it up really quick, I was just I love the way he's standing. He's so fucking. I just want to. Um, <laughs> it's, like, it's like a Portman do, but Portman. <laughs> what I was, I was just saying, when I was in Berlin, there were people protesting a ton of stuff, and hearing yeah, people yeah. angrily shout in German while I was walking down, like you know, in front of the Reichstag and everything. I was kind of just like, I was just thinking in the back of my mind, I could squint my eyes and pretend like I'm in a real different world, you know. Um, what did I miss? I, I let the dog out the room. Yeah, and now so, you're, you're um, in Germany he, going to the Reichstag. He was and you're in a whole in, different place. What's happening? You were talking about how you were a Nazi because you escaped Germany Argentina. to Argentina. And I was and I just reminded me of I felt weird hearing people protest and scream on the streets in German. Yeah. Um, even though they were protesting very good things, they were protesting yeah. uh, against the war in Ukraine and for women's rights in Iran at the time. But it was, it was just the, it was the language that it was like, oh, oh yeah, and I understood some of it, right? But just hearing people angrily oh, scream yeah. German on the streets, I was like, wow, yeah. <laughs> I was like, that's yeah. that's crazy. Um, for context to what Ben is holding, I got a, I got a coffee roaster for Christmas, so I've been roasting my own coffee at home. I've been making been my good. own coffee yeah well ben will tell you so i i bought these little pre-packaged things i made i ground it up for him he doesn't have a coffee grinder so i made homemade oh and you coffee sealed, yeah, yeah, yeah 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 i sealed it and everything and i mailed it to ben so he's and, gonna go we we had a segment on an episode you weren't on called coffee, coffee break, break where we made coffee and now i guess we'll do that have again. another coffee break and i'll film myself doing all this stuff should even i though... make coffee too or should i just stick here um, a... i wish that i could make coffee but it's definitely way too late for me to have coffee yeah it's way too late for me to have coffee too i'm uh, sorry yeah man. make coffee to be fair, you could have drank it at any point you said i'll save it for friday i did and it was i kind of wish I, you, time. you guys i i know you guys have talked about spinoffs or maybe did i imagine that or did you no, guys we did, talk we did, about we did. okay yeah, yeah. you guys should do like a morning maybe not necessarily a morning thing but like maybe a saturday or sunday show we just read right. the news 
Well, the news I is its own show. <laughs> maybe not something like that, but I mean, maybe like, uh, you know, like the coffee break would be a good like side segment to do. Ooh, we get it. It's its own thing. That's so, a good idea. What did you say when you left me a voicemail? Because it gives me a transcript of every voicemail I get, and it just says, Jose. Oh, is that? <laughs> I on didn't my say voicemail Jose. transcript, it says say you, it tells me you left me a voicemail that just says Jose. I don't think I said Jose. I think I I laughed and said oh, and then I laughed again. I think cool. or something like that. I was well, like coffee, bro. I'm, I gotta I gotta make this shit. I'll, I'll, coffee break, cutscene. Sean, I'm here. gonna leave you. I'm gonna make coffee too. I'll be right back. Um, yeah, I'll just be here. I'll be really quick. Kind of. Yeah, so basically, um, the main premise of the show, uh, Futurama, and I guess the main character, you could say, uh, Fry, he throws himself New Year's Eve, 1999. He's frozen for about a thousand years, he wins just a lot of hullabaloo ensues, you know? think that he would be, like, scared and sad that, you know, all his friends and family are dead, but no, I don't know, I feel like a lot of us could relate to that. I've always thought of it as sort of like, you know, when you're on a plane, you might have some vertigo, but when you're like, you're so high that you look down, it doesn't even look like, you don't even recognize that you're on the ground, you don't really get vertigo that much. So anyway, they try and force a job on him, he really doesn't want to be forced into a job, he feel like this is a chance to start over and he wants to make some decisions in his life. Eventually he convinces this robot and this mutant woman, well, at the time you're led to believe that she's a Cyclops alien, um, spoilers, and I'm sorry for anyone who hasn't seen it, um, but she actually is a mutant, he still needs a job. So he gets a job as a delivery boy, which ironically enough is what he did and complained about in the year 1999. That's the main premise of Futurama is that this guy from the year 1999 or 2000, you know, however scholars tend to interpret the show, it's sort of just unclear what his intentions are until the very end. Generally, the show is really good. Um, it's probably one of my favorite shows. South Park is always going to be one of my favorite shows, but... Alright, well, guys, listen, I know you uh, you guys got to make your coffee. I'm probably just going to go get... Let's see what time is it. Haley's going to be back in about half an hour, so maybe I'll just go get a snack or something. I'll be back. I'll be right back. Yeah, you guys keep talking. Don't worry about it. What is that, dude? It's rat poison. Is it actually rat poison? That's such a problem. You built the guillotine for the January 6th riot. Well, it was for Mike Pence, but... No cap, no joke. Sprayed, Axe body spray right on my asshole so I made sure I didn't smell. It is apparently very acidic, and your asshole is apparently very, very sensitive. Sensitive. Yeah, I mean, because, you know, I accidentally hit women all the time. If I'm laughing, it's funny. I made a genuine, like, heartfelt sort of Facebook post where I was like, I am genuinely, internally anti-racist. Like, racist things do bother me. But then... Ooh, is that a leg? Is that a good leg? Hold on, I can't put my clothes on. What the fuck? Wow! What's up, dude? How's your coffee making? <laughs> You're back before Sean. Where did he go? I don't know. I thought you would know. I said, Zach, I'll be right back and I gave him a kiss. Zach, I saved your number to my phone. Yeah, I should do that too. I'm unfamiliar with I don't think I have any of that area code in my phone despite me having family there. I guess it just shows that I don't um talk to my family as much as I should. While while I while I was waiting though, I'm um definitely I'll block your number here. I set your I set a profile picture for you. Wow. Which I I, I only the only oh, other person in I had No, sorry, in in my phone. Like it's not a profile picture, a fucking contact picture. Oh, you picture. sent a profile picture for me. A content, a content, a contact oh. picture. Yes, yeah, sorry. Ow, 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 ow. One of the only other person ow. I had one for was, for was for Alexis. And the only reason I said so, this one is because I could not. Because look at that face. <laughs> <laughs> so I actually have a fun, a fun little anecdote about that. Hey, this show is all about fun little anecdotes. Fun little anecdotes. So I love my friends. And I love respecting my friends. Mwah. And I always want to dignify them with a profile picture. But oftentimes, I don't have pictures of my friends. Either their friends 
online or their friends that don't like getting their picture taken or anything. So you'll have to censor the phone number, but this is an example of one of my contacts. Um, that is a sandwich I ate. So just, that is one of my friends that is represented by that's a sandwich. Just a sandwich. Um, let me look up. I think I have another one. I looked up brain, not Brian. Here we go. This is an example of another one of my friend's contact pictures. Just a, uh, wait, 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 just a cool rock That's just I found. Rock. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, sometimes they're people and I like to try to get pictures with me and them, with, with me and that person. But, um, I just said a times they're a time. rock. I, uh, oh, this is, um, I, Isaiah of the great Isaiah again. He is in my picture. He's in my phone. A picture of the sky. Just a, yeah, that's the sky. Just, I think I think I got his phone number, and I just I went up and I said, "That's you, buddy." Um, that's funny. I like that though. <laughs> I dig that. So, I mean, you have infinite pictures of me. You do not need. No, a no, I have one. pictures of you. Yes. No. Are we waiting for Sean, or are we just kicking this bitch off? Well, he's not making coffee. I assume. I don't think so either, but I could see him having a change of heart for some reason, you know? Sorry, it's the Argentinian beaches. Beaches or peaches? Beaches. With a bee. Either way, it's sexual. That's the same right. Are we trying this? Are you trying the same thing as yeah, I am? That's, that's, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I this is the same. Light, if you can tell. I also, I also put a little too much, little too much yeah, cream in mine. Yeah. It's a little too much. You get the flavors. Okay. Does it smell good? I was like vomit. That's perfect. Mm. Ooh, that's Lo- nice. Lovely, yeah. That that reminds me of when I was a kid and I would eat a lot of sweets and then I'd puke it up and I would taste it coming out. <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're testing our first merch product right now, Sean. So so. What is your first merch product? Yeah, coffee. Coffee coffee. So Zach, um, Zach, you know, he made that whole thing. And I, I, I have just uh, described it as when you eat a lot of sweets as a kid and then you puke it up and you can taste it on the way out. The coffee tastes like that. Yeah. The coffee is sweet. It actually just, it just tastes like good coffee. Like <laughs> I, I'm, I'm giving him shit, but it actually just tastes fine. <laughs> I'm very interested. Uh, I might have to swing by this weekend and take some of that. Yeah, dude, come all the way to Connecticut for that. Oh, by or, the way, uh, I was looking I for this, more, Sean. I can take your address for it, too, also, maybe. I, I would love to actually. Actually, you. Sean. <laughs> <laughs> I actually, I genuinely did have a present that I wanted to give you before I got fired from my job, and it made it almost impossible. Um you I was on my ten thousand dollars. <laughs> no, but it would have been actually a lot of money. Um, so I, I explained a little bit about my working experience in the last podcast. So I'll I'll spare you the details. But um, I've worked for these like marketing agencies and media pr- companies over the past like year and a half, two years now. Um, you know, I the, the first one was given not given to me, but the first one I was referred to by a, a good friend, like an actual friend of mine that I'm forever grateful for giving me that opportunity for. And then the second one, they flew me out to Colorado for this work event. They were just handing me a ton of fancy alcohols, like bottles of alcohol that were worth thousands of dollars. Sure, sure. And they were just giving them to me to try. Like I was yeah, so, yeah. I don't care that I got fired from that job. I, I fucking squeeze them out of that little (laughs) situation. Um, But one of the things they had me try was this barrel aged beer out of this barrel aged stout out of Seattle. Um, What was it called again? Uh, I forget the brew. Oh, Fremont. It was by this brewery called Fremont in Seattle. And they would like take these like whiskey barrels or wine barrels and um, reuse them for beer. So they had like um, all these different flavors that would be really thick and syrupy and dry aged. And they were like, 15% 15% like APV, oh, AP, ABV yeah. too. Like it was yeah. like, and I tried it and it was good. It was like by far some of the best beer I've had in my life. And so I um, found this website that could ship it to people absurdly expensive. It cost me like a hundred dollars to ship a bottle of beer uh, to someone, but they like were really gro- big like a growler or it's hard to explain. It's like bigger than it's like a 40, like okay. a 40 size bottle of beer. Um, but still like they're like, it's like a, $40. Yeah, it's a lot of money. Yeah, that's that's too much money. Yeah, 
Well, they're like forty dollars bottles of beer. It was just the like I paid more than double the price to get it shipped. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like yeah. I spent a hundred dollars total. I think the bottle itself cost forty. But when I was making a lot of money, I was going to for the people I know in my life that I knew liked beer. I was going to send a select few group of people this really like premium. Beer I that appreciate I tried. Being and on you that list. were on that list until I, I got fired from I that job. I appreciate being on that list. Yeah, see, that's that's kind of crazy because. I would never do the same. <laughs> <laughs> the thing so, is, I don't even know Sean that well. I, I do like just that, that is something about myself. I like this is going to sound like a fucking humble brag or something. I like gifting people things. I'm a yeah, bad gift I really giver. do. I'm when, a bad I, one. when I'm out with other people, I'll, um, it, if you know me in the, over the past three months, I've not been that way recently. I've been a very much a stickler about my money. I'm sorry. But when I have full income, I am oh, typically yeah. very much buying people shit. So. My thing is, my thing is, um, I, I also like the idea of gift giving. Um, the biggest thing is, uh, well, first of all, I don't specifically like receiving gifts. That's like a big, like, I just, I'm just, it's not put on I, the spot. Well, it's just that I know I'm likely not going to like, especially video games. Like that's, I told Ben this year for my birth or last year for my birthday that I was like, don't give me any games. Like give me nothing at all or, or no games. What did I least. give you? You gave oh, me this that, fucking that dumb, ball. Yeah. yeah, this fucking stupid twat. Like, give me nothing, brother. Like, um, like I <laughs> actually felt bad because, like, two. Oh well, that doesn't matter. I can't I even did, hear you. I felt I felt bad for. Uh, oh, maybe you can hear us. Yeah. Um, Joe and Evan when they both bought me separate games and I like returned. But I didn't get the chance to return <laughs> Kerbal. <Kirby> Kerbal. But, <laughs> but, um, oh, that, that's that's. A, I mean, if that's if you're trying not to, you know. And especially if you're not like, I mean, Kerbal. I'm not gonna play them. That, that's right, the thing. Right, is I'm, exactly. just, I'm just not. I know I'm not gonna play them. I'd rather them get their money back. I could um, hear you. Yeah. Okay. Um. um yeah. I, I, I heard. I, I, I heard everything you said. Actually, <laughs> I, I do like giving gifts, and in fact, like, um, I think a lot of people who know me like can attest to this. But I, I do like. I don't really have an attachment to like money or items specifically. So like if I have something and someone's like, Oh, like, like in high school, Joe, like our friend Joe had like no video games. Like we were talking and I was like, you've never played Halo. And he's like, I don't have an Xbox. So I gave him my Xbox. I literally just like gave him my Xbox and Halo. And I was like, yeah, Sean gave me uh, Naruto ultimate Ender storm three full burst. I literally full burst. Full burst. <laughs> yeah, I gave thing. him a full burst. All right. Yeah. <laughs> you know. You know. My my uh, girlfriend gets me full burst. Yeah. How? What's that like? Yeah. How's that? How's that feel? <laughs> gooey, gooey, lots of cream. Yeah. <laughs> um. I have a question, Zach. You I have how, an answer, Ben. You know how you uh, always you, your back hurts for how much you carry this podcast on a on a normal basis. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He blows my back out. <laughs> he being an, a, it could be anybody. Um, I brought content last minute. I found content that I really want you to see, and I think this ben might be really a good recurring wants subject. Me to see content, Ben. Ben. This ben, might be a ben recurring ben bit. Is bringing content. I'm. I'm on. I'm on that original four loco shit right now, dude. Because I was drinking alcohol, and now I'm and switching uh, yeah, to caffeine yeah. in the middle. Have of the you night. ever had? Um, this is people used to die from this shit. Dude. Have you ever had boffy, dude? I almost spit out my coffee. Boffy. What does that I, mean? I got fucked up at it because I, I, I used to have a work from home job. Like Irish whiskey? Yeah, it's, or it's Irish beer, coffee? Or? You just pour beer into coffee. That's, Dude, that's I awesome. thought about that earlier today. I literally, because I had like a really nice like stout beer and I was like, it reminds it reminded me of the coffee I had made. Mm-hmm. And I literally had that same thought. I should just pour beer yeah, in the no, coffee. I got, I and got I thought really that sounds disgusting. Up. Yeah, it's bad. And I got really, not only is it bad, like it makes your stomach hurt, but it is still no alcohol. It, it, it is still alcohol. So then you're like, oh, I'm drunk and Dude, I want to throw up and I, my heart is racing. Beer so gets you like, insanely bloated, and coffee makes you shit bricks. Yeah. I imagine that combination is like yeah. So I I heard someone joke about boffy. They're like, oh yeah, you've never had boffy, and it was obviously a troll. But I am autistic, so I was just like, I have to try this. Have you ever had a shower beer? See, okay, so here's the thing. <laughs> I have Penn, had. Penn is lost. He has content plans. I mean, I assume a shower beer. Because so when you say boffy, I think of pilk. 
That's the first thing I thought of. Yeah, sure, yeah. And then you said shower beer. I assume that's just a beer in the shower. But yeah, go to r slash shower beer. There's a whole community for... I'm not no, joking. You, it's been are there you for about lemon party? Is that what you're talking about? Lemon no, party? No, go like, visit r like slash shower beer. Yeah. But um, <clears throat> I've had many different alcohols in many different situations of my life. And the thing is, is like... Um, I, I, that's all behind me. Like if Haley saw me just like in the shower with a beer or something like she, you know what I mean? It would yeah. just be too, it would be like, yeah. uh, she'd, she'd be like, yeah, stop. You're old is what you're telling me. Well, no, I would do a lot more. Um, I love Haley, but I would do a lot more if she weren't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's settling he, down. He's a he's family. Exactly. Yeah. That's, 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 what yeah. he, that's what he's trying to say. Um, yeah. Still good coffee? This? Hasn't changed. I'm gonna I'm gonna have this tomorrow instead of my normal coffee. Absolutely, um, I really like it. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna fucking run through this coffee and it sucks. Yeah, unfortunately, I bought those bags because they were the right like. I didn't want to buy the cheapest ones because I was afraid it'd give me like little drug baggy size <laughs> things of coffee. But I didn't want to buy the big ones too because they were like kind of expensive. And so I settled on these ones, and it's a good amount of coffee to send someone mm-hmm. as like a gift. Yeah. But I wish I could send more. Yeah, you know, I'm a fan. Have you I'm ever um? Oh fuck! I was literally. I think I just lost my train of thought. You had a brain fart. Yeah. Well, I have. No, a, it's not going to come to me. Okay. Here's here's, here's, here's con- my bit. Content. I have a bit, and I don't want to. No more fucking pausing my bit. All right. So okay. Zach, this could be a recurring bit. I'm a degenerate. I watch Wait, pause. YouTube. Continue. I listened. Like, like I didn't just make that statement. Um. Uh. So. Oh fuck that guy! I hate I, that guy. I watch a lot of YouTube. I watch a yeah. lot of YouTube. And I sometimes find some D Gen YouTube shit. <laughs> oh shit. I just I actually just saw a D Gen YouTube thing. So I would love to tack on after you're done with your thing. I would love to be like, this is what I saw. Do you want to watch some D Gen YouTube shit? Sure. Zach? If it doesn't get us fucking copyright slapped to all it hell. It shouldn't. One of them might. But I'll post one in the general chat just and you guys can tell me if if that's yeah. Remember that fucking uh uh absurd jump core video I sent you a long time ago and I was like this is the DJ drum and bass music I was like listening to last night. I maybe. I don't remember this though. It was a it was a while ago. I'm copying the link right now to general chat. This this showed up. I think it's because I watch. I watch uh, like. I think you put it in main co- chat of the other Discord. I mean, it no, no, matter. I haven't put it yet. Oh, okay. I think I get this because I watch like bodybuilder stuff, and I think that is very adjacent to like incel them. So I think mm. I get. I think yeah, I, get, I know what you mean. This showed up on my fucking timeline. Okay, we'll watch that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't tell if this is the. Spe- I was looking for my thing that I was looking for too, but I can't hear. Chrome audio when I'm in so, Discord for some reason. So she, this is obviously just the thumbnail. It's entirely clickbait. Um, except that the video is like the top half of So you never see the bra, but you see the like, the, what do you call it? The cleavage. Mm-hmm. And it's her whispering in different. So it's on your right ear, on your left ear. And she's just like saying, follow the light, follow the like different lights. She's got different lights that she, and I'm like, this is like, and if you read the comments, it's all incels. And it's just like, they're simping a little too hard. It's just so sad. You know what I mean? It's just like I come across that too. Oh, can I can I have a little mini rant before we do this really quick? I don't get people that use social media for soft corn po- soft core porn. I get it if you're like using Twitter or Reddit for specific like actual porn yeah. usage. I get that. But like I'll get these like slut like scantily clad dressed women on tiktok and instagram and there's like a million people commenting oh not not yeah. that but you know what i mean yeah. like yeah, 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 just yeah. totally being like oh my god you're so beautiful yada 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 i've met dudes where that is like their whole instagram account you just scroll through just Instagram models on Instagram yeah. models on Instagram yeah. models. I'm not even trying to make commentary on like you know, stimulating your brain or anything. Yeah, yeah. I'm just, I, I'm just more so saying, just Why? watch actual porn. Yeah, yeah. you know what yeah. I mean. I don't yeah. want it like integrated in my social media feed. I don't, I don't know. Maybe I'm just weird, but like, I don't want to look at pretty women on my on my Twitter feed. That's not why I'm on Twitter. I want to be. I want to laugh and then go live my normal life where I talk to my own pretty woman and yeah, and, I think and I think do my own are, thing. 
I, I think, um, well, this is like a whole different topic, but I, I have used, I have used sexual content to keep me focused or energized. Like in terms of like, um, I have, you do get sort of like a, if you're able to control it, you're able to like, you have boobs like, they, pop like up every time you send an email. No, <laughs> he, drink, he, drink, he puts a little bit of cum in his coffee. <laughs> <laughs> but they, they do say that you lift more weight. I don't do this at the gym, but I'm saying like, this, there are studies that show that people lift you more take weight. Gas station rhino pills. You lift more weight if you like see a picture of a woman like in a bikini or something. And oh, it, like that testosterone. It just trigger, yeah. So it like spikes your testosterone. <clears throat> so I have used that like studying. I'll have like a tab of like of like hentai or something. Uh, Sean, um, I like, want to make fun of you so fucking bad. It's Take real. This He's out being of so genuine though. He can't. You he can't. use hentai to bodybuild? No, 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 not at the gym. I mean to do homework because I'm not going to do homework otherwise. Oh, I, I was used, like, I, I can used... only get a good workout if I like no, look no, at no, a no. woman I actually and like ooga, being at your way through a workout. I like being at the gym. I actually couldn't get through homework without having porn on the side. Like unironically, I like. I'm making fun of you, but when I had my work from home call center (laughs) job, when I had my work from home call center job, it wasn't to keep me motivated. I just thought it was cool if I just threw up porn on the other tabs because I thought it was fun. I was just like, I should be working right now, but instead there's just like porn right there. But no, no. But so I do see, but it is also so it's not what they're doing. What they're doing is they're they're desperately trying to have a connection with a woman, even if that woman is not real. So like, it's definitely very sad. Like when I, that ASMR video that I posted, it's like, you read the comments and it's like, yeah. oh, you're so gorgeous. It's like, she's not reading those, dude. Like, stop. Like, stop. Yeah. Does yeah. she have an OnlyFans? I don't, I don't know. I don't, like, I, Haley I, thinks I mean, that I watch this shit because I watch bodybuilding stuff. And so, like, that will show up on my, I'll be scrolling on my phone and it'll be a, a woman in a bit. You did click on this one, to be fair. I clicked on this one because, like, this is, the like, the 90th one I've seen this month. And I'm like, I just, what's going on? Yeah, yeah. You know, and it's just like. I know what you mean. It's don't so, do that uh, though. What like yeah, three but, years ago? Three years ago, I randomly kept getting. I randomly got um uh, an entire full episode of the Pac Man animated TV show on my YouTube homepage, and I was like, I didn't know Pac Man had a fully animated TV show. And I clicked on it. I watched like five minutes of it. I clicked off, and for three months yeah. straight, yeah. I was inundated. Yeah. I was being clockworked orange brainwashed <laughs> into fucking animated Pac-Man TV show content. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That show sucks too. And the yeah. theme song sucks dick. Someone else got that. What? <laughs> um, okay. So let me share it. Hold on. Please do. Because if you're expecting me to watch it on my tab, I can't do it if we're doing it, if I'm recording. Oh, yeah. on my thing. So are you prepared Oh God! P- fucking damn it! Probability? I can't see it yet. Pr- you can't see it? No, it's it's loading. There we go. I can see it now. For probability comparison, human pain. This is one of the funniest videos I've ever watched. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna hit play. That has music and everything, just for your ranking comparison YouTube channel. There's not supposed to be any audio at this point, right? I don't think so. Cool. All right, paper cut at two. Oh, yep, I it's can hear it. That's louder. loud. <laughs> I'm stepping on a plug. Okay, fair enough. Stubbing toe. I've never stepped on a plug. Stubbing toe. I don't know what the fuck the picture is. For I that. like get stepping on a plug sounds way yep. worse. Cat scratch. Okay. Hot pizza. I'd rather bite hot pizza. Hot pizza. Than. Spinter. <laughs> you can get a good spinter there. Okay. Punch, Punch on, wall. on wall. They yep. really did a they really did a bang up job on the yep. caps there. Yep, drowning. Drowning, drowning. hurts a lot. Drowning is <laughs> less painful than arthritis. arthritis. What is dull? Is that um, I have no foreign idea. language? I have no idea. Menth- you, it hurts more to 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 have a to menstrual, menstrual cycle, cycle than to die drown. from drowning. Yep. <laughs> Standing <laughs> on Lego hurts more than drowning. <laughs> Toothache hurts more than drowning. <laughs> Painball gun. <laughs> <laughs> next time, my next time a girl tells me she's on a period, I'm like, no, don't worry, I've been hit by a paintball gun. Oh, paintball gun. Slam hand door. Yep, yep. Slam hand door. Alchol on open wound. Right. Boiling yeah, that water. Hurts, that hurts I just boiled driving. water for this. Stung by bee. <laughs> it's pretty. 
I mean, that hurts very much in comparison to what, falling, falling down, down on down stairs. Too. That hurts uh, quite a bit. Being chalked. Being chalked. <laughs> <laughs> that that does starvation. Starva- starvation hurts a lot. Starvation hurts a lot. Whiplash. That's tough. Whiplash is tough. Um, nail off. Nail off. The I knew someone that had that, that happen. Oh my god! One time in college, I had my big toe toenail ripped off. That does hurt. <laughs> Barking glass. <laughs> Barking glass, dude. It's so funny. Getting, getting a, a ta- tattoo. Getting a tattoo. Okay, fair enough. Broken bones. Broken bones. Okay. Third degree that burn. A fresh bone. Look that hurts that. a lot. That hurts a lot. Punch, Punch on, on face. face. Much worse than How long third does degree this burns. One go? I don't know. Hot iron on skin it hurts a lot. That makes sense. Broken stitches. Ouch. Ooh. You know what I mean? Yeah. Stomach ulcer, painful. I I have GERD, so it's just bearable to a stomach ulcer. Freeze burn. He doesn't look freeze burn. What is he? Actually Migraine. burned. Yeah, he looks. Yeah, he looks like he actually burned. Um, just know staring, that drowning was at the beginning of this list. St- staring at the sun, five mint. Donald Trump, eh? Mm-hmm. Um, electric <laughs> shock. I don't know how to pronounce that. Heat, Heat up, up oil. oil. Yep. All these, all these kind of hurt. Uh, like. Slip a disc. Hat. Slip disc. Anybody? Finger choked. I've done finger chopped. You've done finger chopped. When I used to work at Firehouse Study Subs. Study by Stingari. <laughs> <laughs> when I used to work at Firehouse Subs, I kept misusing the meat slicing equipment, and they made me a specific name tag that said nubs, nubs. to remind me to yep. um, use the machine properly, because <laughs> they were afraid I was going to cut my finger off. <laughs> Arms hard attached. Off. Hard attached. Well, that's good. At least, at least, it's, at least it's still there. Getting stabbed. I'm getting stabbed. Ouch. Ouchie. That, that hurts a lot. No. Um, shot, shot with a, pistol probably with hurts pistol. the least out of most of these things. And like the Depending point blank back of the head, like that. Arm chopped off again. That's fair enough. It's just in front, a guy in front of a car. Hard attached to the guy uh, peeing. <laughs> just again, it's the same guy. Getting Sean, stabbed. What's going through your okay. mind? We haven't talked to you in months. You went to Florida and everything, and now you're here. <laughs> We left you to make coffee, and now we're uh, showing okay, you a pregnant already... woman shot with pistol. Shot with pistol. <laughs> uh, Florida was pretty good. I, I can always be on next next uh, next Friday if we talk. About Let's Florida. fucking go, dude! Two two Sean's in a row. Well, not next by Friday. It's the, it's the other next. It's every other Friday. Yeah, right? I told you he doesn't want me on the podcast, and I told you. Yeah, see, I, 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 dude, I feel bad because I reread those messages, and it totally did sound like I was telling you to <laughs> fuck off. <laughs> okay. But I was just more so saying you were like, "Oh, I can't come tomorrow," and I was like, "Oh, don't worry, we're already booked this month." Like that was why where I was coming from for it, right? No, I was that's, like, "That's a hundred." I was more like, I was more of saying like, "Don't worry about it," you know. Yo, I hope you like this video. Thanks you for watching and s- subscribe. <laughs> this is my favorite shit. They just mis- just misspellings. And then there's this video that I, I want Keep you to see. Keep in mind, anyone that's watching this at home, Ben doesn't drink alcohol. He doesn't smoke anything. He doesn't do any drugs. He barely drinks caffeine. And this is just what he does dead sober in his room at night. <laughs> I don't think we can play this music. <laughs> dude, fail. How, dude, it doesn't even, the line doesn't line up. You see it doesn't line up? That's why you always get picked last, fatty. <laughs> That's a little, little, <laughs> a little wheel on that car. Fail. I don't it's know what so the fail is there. It's so funny sure. because I like visit Ben and he's like, he'll show me a YouTube video and I'm like, you're retarded. <laughs> <laughs> you ever used to have those kids that used to like show you live leak footage and like that was like their yeah. idea. Like, they yeah, really yeah. wanted to show you. They'd invite you over and be like, do you want to read through a, mm-hmm. do you want to, do you want to scroll through a gore 4chan thread? Yeah. It's like, no, mm-hmm. not tonight. <laughs> like, I, not really. Superman fail. I used Superman to browse uh, 4chan at like 2 a.m. And uh, you click on like a, a flash link or whatever, and it would just be a horse being shot in the head. And you're like, oh, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Never, Fortune never drink me. the 4chan potion at 3 a.m. Burger King foot lettuce, the last thing you'd expect in your Burger King. The last thing you'd expect in your 4chan gore thread is a horse getting shot in the back of the head. Dude, their legs just cave in. That's so crazy. You guys are, are, are you guys not enjoying the fail? <laughs> this is my cock. Failed. That's an epic fail. That is an epic fail. Look at this. There's, dude, there's, why is there a door there? It's literally open the, on the other side. <laughs> fail. 
Why cheerleaders, do you think they're, do you think stupid? they're stupid? Okay, so I'm a cheerleader and I am smart, but you all, well, fuck me. Yep. Fa the epic fail. Dangerous building. Keep out. It's a first name fail. Mabube. <laughs> that, that's it. That's an epic fail. And look, the, the door's not even aligned to like the stairs in that one. Ben, how do you think that happened? I don't know. This is the guy's the biggest idiot ever, dude. The fucking hockey fail. You think he built that door? The hockey guy? And he dies with what you push. push. You. Which one is it? That's a door fail. That's what that is. It's a door fail. Redundant a lot of these are fail. door fails. <laughs> <laughs> yep, there's so many door fails. <laughs> Death to all juice. What a fucking epic fail, dude. That's a fail. Go. What if they got that's into not an accident? A, that's not a stop fail. That's a, that's stop a fail. troll. That's an epic troll. <laughs> He's a thong. Thong fail. You did this. Thong fail. Oh, that looks like a penis. Toy fail. Do you guys... Do you <laughs> This is the entire guys, Paralyzer by Finger Eleven. <laughs> this is what this is. Do you guys remember uh, kind of Elephant the Elephant? Yeah, that was a, it, was, it is a good song. Do you guys remember Elephant the Elephant? Yeah. Yes, I used yeah, to have Elephant. Yeah. You move because of that. Yes. There's a um, there's a, a video a picture I have somewhere. I'll have to find it for you. <laughs> where I went to the uh, Crayola store. And they had a big shelf of all these Crayola plushies. And, um, but the Crayola plushies have feet, and it definitely looks like a wall of cocks. <laughs> Please subscribe. All right. Did you like my, did you like my bit? Yeah. Yeah, that was very good. Uh, yeah, sure. Very, very, very good. Very did good. Did you like the heart attached? I thought that was pretty funny. The heart, the heart attached, yeah. Yeah, yeah that was pretty good. Wow. The heart attached. Yeah, wow, what uh thought? Do you wanna pull up do you wanna pull up TikToks or do you wanna save that for even later? What time is it now? Tit tots would be a tit tot. Now that's a fail. Not that, that was a, that was a words fail. That was a pretty that was a words fail right there. You hear that he's a tit tots. Yeah, I wouldn't really That should want... be a new show meme where someone mispronounces something, it does the da -da 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 song and it does the zoom out thing and it says words what? fail. Words or... fail. Right, or like uh, oh, or like a top smart oh, fail, smart dude, dumb, dumb fail, more like it. <laughs> oh, dude, we can we can do a uh, wait, hold on, hold on. I was gonna spill my coffee and say coffee fail, but I don't want to actually do yeah, that. Yeah, the coffee's really good, so you want to say now do it and say say funny <laughs> fail or like bit fail, Ooh, bit fail because you didn't do it. Okay, fair enough. So did you? How did uh, the failed pictures were pretty good? How do you guys? Did, how did you? Word Whoa, fail. Sorry, you handle the pain. Does your dad like the coffee, Zach? Yeah, he actually commented on that it was good. We have um, some cousins in New Jersey that, like, you know, their way of kind of getting them to, oh, I got an Xbox message from Plying Carp. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What is this? Join one of the biggest Discord Xbox Marketplace server. Cheap <laughs> Xbox followers, likes developers. People are spending money to bot Xbox Live followers? Well, I feel like Xbox... I, 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 don't, I don't mean to offend you. I think Xbox users are the dumbest oh, this probably, generation yeah. gamers. Yeah. Okay. Anyways. Um, but yeah, I have <laughs> some cousins in New Jersey that like were um, their way of trying to slyly ask for coffee was they sent me a bunch of coffee from their local roasteries from New Jersey. Um, and so then I was like, okay, I'll send you some. Um, so I packaged one up just like I did for you, Ben, and sent it over there. Oh, okay. Um, but the point is, is I have a, um, the coffee we already had at home, the coffee I've roasted myself, and all this fucking coffee from New Jersey that was sent over to me. Um, so I have a, just a... He asked me if this was your coffee or not because he really liked it. And I was like, it's mine. Yeah, the 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 Folgers. I normally drink like fucking Folgers, or I don't even know the, the trip my mom gets from North Carolina. I'm not, I don't I'm not a an right. enormous fan, but you know whatever. The this this this, this stuff is good. Gaston <laughs> shops pussy fucking pussy absolute bitch dude. Oh, dude imagine oh, <laughs> imagine living with your significant other dude. Cringe. You imagine right now. imagine talking to a woman <laughs> on this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> life fail life exactly that is a life fail all right let me open up tiktok so then we'll, i guess we'll call it for the night it's already getting kind of late i should probably go be going to bed to be honest i'm falling asleep yeah no i i, I, I you can get the if you want to leave good you know if you want to not be a, a friend <laughs> you got eight eight minutes of tiktok stay or leave um,
It ha um well my question for you Zach is uh, I am interested in that coffee but if you don't have a lot to send around you don't have to send me any but I would like to Well I I I already have people that want some again too so I'm saying the next time I make some I will I reach Venmo out and you. ask for an I address I can Venmo you if you Just, want to do it Yeah Whatever, whatever. We'll, we'll talk. We'll talk about it when it gets there. Yeah, but yeah, at yeah, some yeah. point, I, I will send you coffee, Sean. I just let me. Yeah, no, in, and um, I'm not gonna really take it that personally if you decide to never talk to me again or anything. Like that. <laughs> 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 I would do that. Never would do that, dude. Yeah, I'd no, put right. dirt. I'd give you a big bag of dirt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just, just the coffee. It's just literally dirt. <laughs> one worm. One little. One of those little <laughs> tiny little worms. <laughs> Worm coffee, dude. Yeah, uh, yeah. Worm wood, even for absinthe. Ooh, I drink that. Wait, you, absinthe is alcohol? Before? No, never. That, that, you, you like pass out after drinking like a you, shot you of that, right? I think Ben. I think you would because you ha, you you don't drink that much. You'd get fucked up on absinthe. I, I would, I'd I probably think. die. Yeah. You would pass out after a shot of absinthe. Is that, is that the thing I'm t- talking about? No, Where it's incredibly like, high alcohol percentage. Don't get me wrong, but that's a little excessive to say. Yeah, that's, pass out. I don't think of grain See? liquor. Was that what it's called? Or grain? Oh, you're thinking of um, that's different. Ever, but you're thinking of Everclear. It could be absinthe. Is still like mostly alcohol like it is an it is Um, a primarily alcohol content beverage but it's it's a lot but it it kind of functions depending on the dosage of the wormwood in it it can function as like a stimulant so you might you i think you would probably get thrown off i think you'd be pretty upset if you had well there's multiple ways of making it too because you can like brew it over sugar right like you distill it over sugar cubes with water and stuff like uh, some people do five parts water one part absinthe some people do one to one some people do one to two uh most people will pour it over sugar it's it's yeah there's different ways to like dilute out the thing but it's green and it's really (laughs) cool because the oils this is like a whole chemistry thing will separate so when you pour it it's very clear, but when you add the water, um, it'll just become hazy because it's separating out the um, water and alcohol mix, but the oils and water from the wormwood don't. So it becomes this like really cloudy kind of, uh, yeah, yeah. And it, but it's green and it tastes sort of like licorice or anise. I know you got to decide whether or not you're staying or leaving soon, but the I'm same, no, I'm, yeah, okay. The, the same speakeasy bar that I was talking about earlier, I went there years ago it was actually i think my first time going there i didn't know it'd be a done up affair you know what i mean so i literally just got okay, off work. Yeah, yeah, i had yeah. my i had my work hoodie on like a stained t-shirt and then like some like khakis i was wearing dad yeah. attire yeah, like yeah, dad yeah. that was just drunk and didn't care i go into this place and you know it's not like everyone's wearing suits but there were some people there wearing some suits and people just you know wear like a nice shirt you know what i mean it's like that type of place I sit down in the corner of this club speakeasy thing. I felt very out of place. I see on the menu, they had a drink with absinthe in it. I wanted to try it. I don't think I also had absinthe before. It was my first absinthe drink. Mm-hmm. It was called the Bodie McBoat face. Okay. And so I order it and then the guy goes off and leaves and he comes back around and in a room full of people all dressed up and having a good time and me like stained just off of work. Just I had like a really unkempt beard that was long and everything too, like patchy too. It was not a good look He goes, here's your Bodie McBoat face, sir. <laughs> and just puts Are it you? down on my table. And I remember being like, I felt like SpongeBob in the goofy yeah. Yeah. scene where I was like, that's my Bodie McBoat face for the night, apparently. Yeah, you probably mm. looked goofy ah. Goofy, goofy uh, yeah, ah cocktail. Yeah, yeah. Sean has it has Sean has an issue. <laughs> Sean has the issue with Zoomer terminology right now. That's like his whole bit right now. So I'll be, I'll say like goofy ah uh, or something ah uh, and it'll piss Bruh. him off. Oh, um, really quick, I I I did something without your consent today. <laughs> <laughs> Would be the first time. <laughs> um I uh I I you know how I usually link the full episode in the pinned comment? Mm-hmm. So I did something different today because I was tired of people ignoring me. So I said, if you call me names on the link below, I will say your name out loud. So there was one guy who actually took us up on the full thing. We're clicking through and commenting on the main episode like I requested. Most people did it in the comments. Um, However, there was this one fucking child. Like I checked his channel out. He's definitely a child that was just bothering us for a shout out. So we'll at him and this will be a short. We'll at him. 
this sweet junior the kid gamer guy congratulations you got yourself a shout out i don't know who you are i don't know if i support any of your stuff but he you know if you harass people on the internet long enough they might just do exactly what you want them to do sometimes and i'm personally uh, genuinely i'm proud of him for getting on the youtube thing you know younger Ben likes to get him younger. Um, you can't put that in the short because that is <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, but there's also one guy that did take us up on the actual offer, and I did want to say his name. It is DG, and he says, "Don't worry, Tristan, I don't have a dad either." <laughs> but, oh, fuck, uh, dude. <laughs> but he he was the one that I definitely followed through on the comment and and put it on the fucking actual main video. So thank you, thank you, DG. DG like the letters. Yeah, yeah, initials DG. That's his YouTube handle. Hey, if you wanted a more personalized shout out, should have put your fucking name on the internet, bud. Dude, it's crazy the amount of people that you you specifically put like a pin comment saying, "Oh, comment on this video," and everybody commented on the short. It had like thirty comments all on the short when the pin comment clearly stated, "If you leave a comment on the video and then the link on this Mm -hmm. video Mm -hmm. link." To a different video. Yep. Yep. I get, I get, I could see how they'd be confused, but grow a brain. I also, I also pissed off some, I'm not going to get anybody. I pissed off some, some Christians, some, some lovely Christians, uh, in one oh, of our, yeah. in one of our shorts. It, I made a, I had a short thing about Jehovah's witness. I think it was the combination of me saying that, um, it, uh, made me, uh, uh, upset and felt like the conversation was invalid. And then you putting in the title ruined your day. I think those two things together kind of just pissed off a few people. Not a big deal. It's, I don't really give a fuck. I, the, I, the, really, I was genuine the, the when shorts, I said I said. The shorts are always out of context, partially on me because I'm trying to get more views, but that's also just the nature of taking a 30 second clip, sometimes shorter of a three hour long thing. Right. The context is always going to be removed. Okay. So this clip in particular, you're just going about how you're going through a lot in life. You have a conversation with this guy. He hands you a card, clearly trying to convert you to a church. And it, you know, we exaggerated it a little bit, but it made it, you know, it didn't feel good, right? Yeah. I think the message of the video was, you know, uh, not necessarily that this conversation was all of a sudden invalid, but these people seeking out like vulnerable people to talk to and yeah. trying to flip them to a church just feels bad, man. I think that was literally the point of the video, but you were the story guy. So I'll let well, you I, I, was per- I personally did feel like that. I mean, I think you, you are correct with what you said, but I did feel like that the conversation was completely invalidated and maybe I am incorrect, but I don't care to know if I'm incorrect. I'm going to live in bliss. Not knowing the, the point. The point wasn't just that, like you had a great conversation and a guy was like, and here's a card. The point was, he was very, it became apparent towards the end of the conversation. He was trying to get you to yes. join a church. And that was the purpose yeah. of him maintaining yeah. the conversation. Right. Exactly. Exactly. And yeah. that's, what, that's what triggered me. So we uh, triggered. We, I triggered T R I G G E R E D. That's how you're going to edit this one with Sean coming on here and saying he's going to people 20 times. That's, that's going to be a fun one. That's we'll going to be a fun one. <laughs> um, but for now, for now, let's finish the episode up because I, I am getting a little bit sleepy. I did not, I, I woke up this coffee. morning. I did too. I woke up this morning. I, I get too close to the mic and then it peaks. I'm glad you woke up this morning. I woke up this morning at 6 a.m. I love you. I woke up this morning at 6 a.m. It's okay, baby. <laughs> and normally I wake up at 7.30. So it was an hour and a half early and I was stressing about a work issue, which... Uh, is a new thing uh, for this job. Um, even though it was a non-issue, it's one of those things where you wake up and you're like really stressed about a really small thing that doesn't really matter. It was one of those situations. It sucked, but so I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit under, under the awake. I don't know what that means, but you get to sleep now, in tomorrow, right? Unless my family makes me do stuff, which is a normal thing in my house. So, I'm a busy boy. Hey, shout out to everyone out there that's got families. It's facts. Oh, by the way, if you don't have a family, I love you too. I know people that struggle with stuff like that. So, like, also just know that when I say shit and when Tristan also jokes mean about not having a father, that right. it's all yeah. That think that think that I'm being ironic when I just yes. said that. So, I went to bring this up to Sean. Sean and I did a video. It was a skit. I don't know if I ever showed it to you because I think we were still doing redoing the podcast at that point. We did a skit where he was trying to sell me NFTs. 
And then I don't know where oh, that you should video have showed is. it to Tristan. I don't know where that video is. It, it's gone off the planet. It's on a. I, I found a draft of it on streamable, but that was it. I just I just found that. Interesting. I thought about that too. You know, the, remember how in the last episode I explained how me and Ethan used to have that little handheld camera and record yeah. Call of Duty stuff. We also used to record like actual skits back then too. I was again like actually ten years old. Like yeah. they like I, I don't think they should be publicly available to the internet, but I definitely like made a YouTube channel specifically to upload those somewhere. <laughs> And I don't remember deleting them and they're all gone. Dude. I don't I don't know where they went, but there's videos of me like doing live action sketches when I'm like nine or ten years old somewhere. There's a video there's a video of me and my friends. We did a sketch. It's essentially the same thing. We were doing a story and it was called Chess World, I think. And it was because the only like props we had were chess pieces. So we had like a storyline with like stolen bikes or some shit like that. And as the YouTube channel is box man, B O X M A N five, four, three, two, one, look it up. It's, it's still, it's still on the online and I'll probably overlay it in this video. Um, very bad videos, very bad videos, but funny that those are like my, those are the, on those like little three sixty P flip cam cores. That was like the beginning. You know, do you know what's funny? Hmm. I've actually done, I think I had the very first podcast to ever exist. And I'm not exaggerating. Interesting. Okay. I want to not elaborate any further. Right. Um, when I was when I was younger, I actually had a show just like this that when I was like eight, nine years old, that's never touched the internet. Although called maybe the, it's somewhere and I could find a thing with it. Called it was the Barf me, Boys podcast? No, it was me and my sister. And we'd sit down at a table and literally just read again like random news stories and show off like it was like a talent show almost, but like we'd talk hmm. and there was like a table we set up for it and we recorded it and made dvds for our family and everything you only have one sister i would do like characters too i remember this i would dress up as characters for this hmm. almost like what ethan did but it was like i was the host and i would come on as a different person for some reason i had a i had a idea for a video that i wanted to do as a kid where i was i was playing indiana jones with a bunch of props and i was just shooting people i don't know why I had um, an idea for a video as a kid where when I grew up, I'd get naked and uh, be around a lot of other naked men. Let's shower with your dad simulator 2015. That's what you think. Bro, what the, what the heck, dude? You see the, you got, you got, you got, you got a, that's a parenting fail. That's a parenting fail. That is a parenting <laughs> fail. Oh shit! Picture right, me... Jeffrey Epstein <laughs> dating fail. <laughs> what a mid episode, dude! What mid a episode. mid we episode! We got Sean back. It's the return. No, this was kind of a legendary episode. <gasps> oh, now that you Zach, mention it, Zachary, <gasps> Ben, Benjamin, I, my, I convinced you. you I somehow convinced, convinced my old man to get gigabit internet. What does that mean for me? It means uploading is going to take a few minutes instead of an hour. Let's go. When right, you that, move. That's that's all I wanted to. Okay, let's play this. You ready for this, sec? Yeah. Only thing that I like. Wait, wait. Let me go back because I turned it up. The only thing that I like better than a sausage egg and cheese biscuit. It's two sausage, egg, and cheese biscuits. There's a theme to this one. <laughs> they usually have some kind of theme that's very Wait, loose. What's the theme to that specific video? No, to the overall TikTok okay. bit this episode. Oh, she had. What is that? What is the surgery called when you get the fat removed but you keep the skin? Or is it? Or is that, is just that liposuction? I think liposuction. You get it all removed. I, don't, I actually don't, uh, know. I don't I, know. I'm uneducated. I don't know. She does look like dough, though. Oof, that looks like painful. I've seen this video. Have you? <laughs> yeah, that's this such a good video. This recipe is finally being talked about because it's so good. Plankton would be like, I don't care about this. Tell me about the Krabby Paddy secret recipe. He would. He Dude, would be like that. Mega mind. <laughs> but not blue. <laughs> Am I wrong? We, this, we, is no, this is no bitches. We bully people on this. <laughs> This is Put no, the no bitches. bitches text up. It's <laughs> <laughs> a forehead I, I, mean, I, I, don't, I don't mean to be mean. No, I don't mean to be. This is a positivity so, show. We're awesome. Yeah, yellow lines. Zach, how do you put this in and you didn't you barely fucking cracked a smile at my video where everything was myth uh, uh, 
I did smile. When, when you saw I heart attacks, out, you smiled. <laughs> that was the only one. No, I also, I talked about how drowning was so silly to be up so early. I can't believe that, Zach. This person isn't even speaking words. Sorry, mate, you can't fuck. Yeah, it's the same thing, but just words. Sorry, mate, you can't fuck. Yeah, it's the same thing, but words. Sorry, mate, you can't fuck. What are you talking about? Look at this. Did you drink? I would not. That's salmonella. <laughs> that's what you gained <laughs> from that. Salmonella. I don't know if this is copyrighted or not. I'm so I'm going to say a few I, words of, while it's going on. We played of all of Figure Eleven's paralyzers. So I think <laughs> that's we're fine. true. <laughs> well, 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 we'll see. That was all the same, like two. That was two pictures, just reused in different ways. I like that <laughs> ripple effect, though. Can you can you add you that know, to the to this video, me? Go ahead. <laughs> I mean, that, that, that does kind of showcase creativity, right? You can take only two pictures and make a video just like that. That spreads to millions. That's true. That's All true. All you need is two pictures and that. You're inspirational, Zach. You're an, mine. You're inspir yeah, inspiration I should be, to me. I should be like an influencer. I should be like one of those uh, business coaches or YouTube gurus or something. What would be your first, oh. what would be your first um, uh, act as a, what would, what would be your first executive order as a bus business influencer? Do they make executive orders? You would. I had hope. Uh, we're going to dump all toxic waste into the Mississippi River. And they deserve it. Get the fuck out of here, Mississippi. That's the worst state. Hey, hey, Mississippi River, I feel bad for your carp problem. That's such a deep cut. I have no idea what the fuck you were talking about. <laughs> you know those car you know the fish that jump up out of the water in the Mississippi River? You ever see those videos where they're driving on the boat and all the fish are jumping up and hitting people in the head and everything? Oh, no. I thought, uh, when you say that, I think of flying fish. No, that's Those what are they are. Guys. Oh, well, okay. they're a little bit different. What, anyways, the fish that jump out of the water in the Mississippi River, if you watch videos of them, there's hundreds of them. They like attack people when boats are driving by. They're an invasive species and they eat up all the other fish in the area. Tom Scott of YouTube, of Tom Scott YouTube fame, fame did an excellent video breakdown on the subject where he explains how on the Great Lakes, they set up an electric fence underwater. It's literally, they electrified the water. So if you jump in the water high enough in the Mississippi River, you'll get electrocuted because they're trying to stop the carp from invading the Great Lakes. Anyways, continue. I like I like Tom Scott's voice because he talks like this and he doesn't know. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Well, is, is Tom Scott on the show? I'm saying, he goes, this video is 500. I'm doing an Australian accent, but he's British. But he has like that very like deep. I'm Tom Scott, and I, you know, I'm Tom Scott. I'm okay. Tom Scott, and That's I'm eating sounds. a handful That's of M Ms. Uh, 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 I'm uh, eating a handful of M Ms. Uh, 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 I'm Tom Scott. <laughs> he really, he doesn't sound like that at all. But he has a like British what fail. What is? Yeah, what is it? I want to unfail that British fail. Like he talks oh, like. Okay, rewind that. Um, he, he doesn't have like the throat thing, but he has like he like closes his throat enough. I'm Tom Scott. It's more I'm like Tom breathy. Scott, you know, I'm, it's more breathy. It's more like I'm Tom, I'm Tom Scott. Scott. I'm, Tom, I'm you're going, Tom. You're going Scott. too guttural with it. I sound like General Grievous. <laughs> I'm Tom Scott. <laughs> Have you ever wondered why fish jump out of the water? <laughs> That's really good. That's a really good impression. I'm uh, Sean Connery. Um, I can't remember how Tom Scott sounds. I'm not going to pretend. All right, eggs. Yep, I'm about to sneeze from all the pepper. When will I ever learn? Oh, when will when, when will I learn? <coughs> Don't sneeze. It's <laughs> is the fucking panty. Don't you on? love the way the camera shakes every time I sneeze? <laughs> <laughs> <we're> <laughs> <laughs> Why does she have your laugh, bro? <laughs> Doing cheesy eggs this smoking. morning. Three cheesy eggs with two pieces of sliced cheese. Of course, cooking up a storm with Montreal steak seasoning and plenty of pepper. Storm. Gotta have cooking tons of storm. pepper, guys. Yep, it happened again. All because I had to go to the bathroom. There are precautions you can take if you're gonna go to the bathroom just pay, take it off the heat or something idiot 
Also, grilled cheese does not take that long to make. It's not and like you're sitting why there, are there for eggs in her 20 cheese? minutes. No, those were two different videos I stitched together. Oh, okay. Okay. Sorry. I keep pausing. No, it's okay. Have you been to Cape Cod? I assume you have. Ooh, my grandparents go. They may have taken me when I was younger, and I just don't remember it. But I don't have any memories. Bro. Okay, okay. Actually, actually, no. We took boats out there to fish. I know because I fished off Cape Cod, but I don't think I've driven on land and experienced the town itself. If that makes sense, I I've with- seen it with my own two eyes. I've just not been there with my own two feet. I went with Brian's family, right? And the same Brian. And this is like Brian the crime dog. Brian the crime Brian dog. Brian Griffin. Yeah, Brian the crime dog. When I got hit by a crime, Brian's only dog was alive. Me. Yes, they don't, I mean Y A N though. So just keep that in mind. Um, and we went to this like really ritzy little club thing that nobody. I I, I don't. They Cape might Cod's have a like, ritzy place. Known. Yeah, I, but it was just the 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 was it oysters were just like that. Not oysters. Are they oysters? They were oysters. Yeah, were Good job, just bud. like that. Where you'd, you'd you wouldn't use a you wouldn't use a straw, but you. I don't think you're supposed to eat them with a straw. That's why I right. put it in here. It's because that's right. a that, weird that's, thing to do. But you would suck them off. I I'll can't, tell you what I I'll keep, suck off. See, I keep doing this. It's not on purpose. You suck. That's an oyster, oyster fail. fail. <laughs> it is an oyster fail. You suck the oyster off of the. Uh, I'll suck your oyster off of the oyster shell. And it with a bunch of seawater and sand. It was really good. Finna pop. Okay. Well, that answered that exactly what I said. The audio. What the fuck was going on with the audio in that one? I don't know. I made it feel like it was an outer space or something. I know. I almost said audio space. Half glizzies. A lot of half glizzies. How many half glizzies? Like. Jelly bean, the jelly bean experiment. How many half? Yeah, we'll give away a free Tesla if you can guess exactly how many Vienna sausages are in this air oh, fryer. Is that what that is? They're not half glizzies. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I, they look like Vienna sausages. It could be right. completely wrong. I've never had a Vienna sausage. I've seen this video. This is terrifying. Have you? The guy. This guy how have you seen yeah. this video? I've been. I've been perusing TikTok a little bit more. To be honest, the mo- the reason I'm proof TikTok is so I can find a cat video to send Alexis every morning to say good morning. That's the only reason. You're way better of a boyfriend than I've ever been. Dude, maybe we should find out. Me and you. <laughs> Dude, I love this video. I want to do this IRL. Ding, 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 ding. ding. Ding, 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 ding. That fucking asshole, dude. <laughs> you want to you know what's funny? You know, you know well, that ringtone funny. hasn't been used since like the S4, I think? Yeah, I used yeah. to have one that had that ringtone. You know what's funny, though? What's funny, though? You want to know my, you want to know my 6.30 a.m. wake up ringtone that no, I, I, I downloaded know what's funny. for this re- I got I downloaded it on my phone specifically so I could have it as my wake up ringtone. So I never Wow. I never have to as- associate another sound to wake up for again. That's true. That's good. It's actually it's a pretty good wake up sound because it's like loud and like has those little staccato notes to it that is enough is like sharp enough for you to wake up, but it's also like a little floaty at the same time. So yep. it's like, oh I'm getting I'm getting Honestly, up. Honestly, it's I not my, funny though. My phone vibrates twice and then the sound starts i wake up at the vibrations mm. I'm, or half the time i'm already up so i just i don't even so, hear it most of the time i don't know if you can relate to this if i have like a a job if i have a schedule that i'm constantly getting up at like a specific time my internal clock will usually wake me up five yeah. minutes before my alarm yeah, like it's, it's, it's a human on thing. the like 90 percent of the time yeah yeah yep yeah, yep yeah. same thing happens to me same thing same exact thing uh and then but if this happened would you wake up five minutes before this <laughs> I have my car sense tingling. Yes, yes. Dude's like careening around the road too. Yeah, yeah he's he's going. He wants everyone to hear the Android notification. I'm always sound. bored at an Airbnb, so I stuck my foot in the fish mouth. You just never know. We love Fortnite. We love Fortnite. 
<laughs> I love funny dogs. I love I silly dogs. I feel bad because I cut some of these up around this point, but like I, I to me when I was editing this segment, I was like dying laughing at the jarring cut between "We love Fortnite, we love Fortnite" to the psh, dog. Dude, I, I don't know why s- that transition in particular fucking got me good. If it was a less silly dog, would it be less funny? Maybe. That's what I wanted to hear. January. Okay. I've seen this video. That's on Twitter. Oh, you keep going. What happened? He tried to park that big Mack truck right in that little garage. I am off that gray, gray, gray. You don't want to know why I haven't been rewinding. Case. You want to know why I haven't been rewinding? It's because it takes more editing. I just I know that I'm gonna hate myself for rewinding, but I really uh, don't know what happened in that video. Should I do it? That's up to you, my brother. Go back to January, dog. I want to see this. Yeah, this, this. I want to see the transition between this guy. I like this. We love Fortnite. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why it just gets stuck to me. It's such time. a silly dog. It's so funny. Uh, transition, honestly. I mean, it's funny transition, obviously, but the, it's the silly dog for me. For me. It's the silly dog for me. Now I understand what happened. I was paying attention to the little guy under the car, but he, mm. that guy destroyed that parking lot. All right, can't believe we never saw this. I, I'm a lover of awkward. I'm a lover of awkward. And that was just awkward. You couldn't tell by this show? Hey, how you doing? <laughs> yeah. Wait, no. Did you get that? Because why is this still coming out? And fucking miles for some KFC, right? I pull up. I go here. And I'm like wondering what the fuck's going on with KFC. So then I didn't hear a bitch for a while. Then I, then I pull forward. And as you see, there's not even fucking KFC here. They just have this. What the fuck is going on? It's disgusting. It's unsanitary for a dude to piss in a toilet. So, have you seen this? Preferably, I Good. use the bottle. Okay. I don't use the toilet there. I piss in my gallon like a little You know, shit ain't changed, buddy. It's 2022. I'm still pissing in bottles. Um, shit ain't changed, bro. I don't pissing toilets I never will yes to answer your question yes I still piss in bottles all right I'm sorry homie have it has a UTI for sure right I, that has I would imagine pee. so well maybe he doesn't drink water maybe he's one of those guys that just drinks like soda energy drinks sports drinks only or something you know I, I had a UTI and my piss was like that color like that was exactly that color. It was like it was like uh, apple juice color. I, I, again, if I'm like incredibly dehydrated, it'll get close to that. Okay, he just doesn't drink. He doesn't doesn't drink enough water. He's an energy drink. He drinks Prime. He's a Logan Paul fan. That's He's what Logan happens if you watch too much Logan Paul. Your piss just becomes <laughs> like dark orange, like brown. And then you almost. can't use the toilet anymore. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. And yeah. Yep. You're so right. It's crazy about having these things in my eyes. Right. It lets you see how the eyes actually work. Like this one's just more of like an interesting smoothly. thing. Like when I move my head, I thought this was a filter. You can kind of see how my eyes try to. Oh, check I thought for a second the reason why I put it in here initially is because it looks like he stabbed himself in the eyes for a moment. That's what I thought when oh, I first I scrolled not, by I, this. I yeah. thought there were like literal pins in his eyes a doctor put in for a moment. Was what I thought when I first saw this before he explained it. You know, this I immediately just thought this was a filter. So it's interesting. Still think about like putting that suction. But on your sometimes eyes you can move Ugh. your eyes smoothly. If it's following something, so if I hold my finger out and I move my finger, you can see my eyes moving smoothly. But if I try to just move, you don't my really eyes, need the thing on the eyes for that though. Like that, you can just kind of see it. it. Ben, 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 you're thinking too smart. <laughs> you say that before this scene is about to play out. <laughs> can I guess what happens here? Yeah, I was actually thinking about that, but then I thought it might be too easy to guess. Uh, should I, I woman hands? 
woman hands wasting mustard on the floor ground intentionally or unintentionally intentionally oh my well <laughs> oh, there's your answer. Is that a child? Gosh. Or is that a woman? I'm about to get fucking talk. fired, bro. I paid a woman 75. <laughs> the one frame of the dollar bill was <laughs> really funny. I should have extended it out further. That's funny. But... Poopy turds McGee 1.0. Right? <laughs> nickels to suck on her toes at the Velvet Touch right. in Parma, Michigan. Classic and Poopy I got Turds McGee. foot on my lips. These next two videos are stitched, by the way. Okay. This was a reply to that girl. Dude, everything is awesome. Everything is cool when you're part of a team. Also, when you're editing this, you should... <laughs> you should pause and read the message of that uh, text anyway. So it was... Uh, I'll do... I'll, I'll, I'll have to you. I'll have... Okay. I'll have uh, a text to speech read it. My four-year anniversary of not using the downstairs bathroom because my sister threw up in it on January 3rd, 2019, and my crippling emetophobia can't get over its smile. Cool. Like, like uh, it'll be like the... I was just saying you would relate to the text anyways. When your brother walks into your room while you're taking a shit. You know, the, like the woman voice? Then take the, yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah. Hello? I don't know if this is real or not, but probably. I fake. can't believe it's real. You think this one's real? Mm. They fill in a cream puff with air. Oh, that is not real. <laughs> what? Okay, now pause this. Pause it right here now. This one, you have to take a prediction as to what they're doing in the car. What are they building out of the car? Oh, this it's very clear what they're doing. What are they doing? They're making a, making a cat litter for their armadillo. I've seen this video. You're going to give a serious answer? What? You're going to do a serious answer? <laughs> what the fuck? I don't know why you think that wasn't a serious answer. Um, okay, fine, fine. No, continue, continue. Just know that you owe me a thousand dollars if they're not okay. all right, all right, hold getting on, cat right, litter for the back, armadillo. Back, okay, okay, okay. You're my best friend, you know that? <laughs> um, <laughs> so... I'm not going to be out a thousand dollars. So they're you're the only up. person I've known that's ever truly known the real me. Is that a hint? No, no. Just guess what you think is going on in this video. They're, and they're adding an extra gas tank to this vehicle. Is that what you think? Yes. Okay. All right, well, I don't think I was correct. <laughs> This is going to come out through here, uh, all the way, see that? Yeah. And then we've got a little chunk of tape here, I'm going to put that on there, and I'm going to tape it just right How here. to ruin a perfectly good oh, car. car. Damn it. The funnel is going to go into here, and we're going to stick that on there, just like this. What's with the piss shit? Now, What's with the piss shit? Was there a lot of piss, piss shit in this episode? I don't... stopping at a roadside facility. This just attaches right here. It runs in here, runs through the floor. Imagine if you're driving behind someone and, and they start like pissing out the back of their car. Is going to just well, that duct tape's going to fly off. Like, that's this is not going to Imagine if it's you. really windy and piss, <laughs> piss flies up and hits your windshield. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many things going on right now. <laughs> okay. Um... Fuck, man. Uh, I want to hit play, but I, at the same time, I don't. <laughs> uh, Dark Brandon. This is a train. Yeah, yeah. It's too tall a train? Yeah, train too tall. Bridge too low, train too tall. Might have seen this video before, but it's like, what the fuck? Imagine this is a train in New York City. All right, this video I've seen, I thought this was a really funny addition, but then I think for like Philip DeFranco or some shit like did a duet with this video like this morning. And so now by the time you're seeing this, you've probably seen this fucking video too. Just know, yeah, I, I didn't see Philip DeFranco. I saw Chinese people on their own.
stuck on that liberal. Yeah, because if you're watching Philip DeFranco. Okay, it's Child Disc and Bino. Homegirl dropping it like the NASDAQ. <laughs> That's really cool. Ass. Boobies. Boobies. We've all seen it, but it needed to go in. That's true. That's so burnt. It's not burnt. That is black, my dude. That's what you want. You want the leopard print. Burnt like toast, burnt like toast, you could say. That's no, no. <laughs> I've ruined any shot of it. Any any job, any shop. This show's gonna get decent and it's gonna go back. And what people are gonna do, I'm calling it now. This show's gonna be like a hundred thousand subscribers, and be like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. And someone's gonna go back and find the clip and take it out of context of me going up to a black guy and saying he's burnt like toast. You know what? I was two, I was sheltered, and I didn't know they existed yet. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, dude! For if you toast. saw, if, if you didn't know black people existed, and then you saw one, you'd also think that like you want to help whatever's going on there. Yeah, you, everybody's seen the video. And it might be fake. I don't know. If, if, if only if you've only been around black people and you see a white guy, I'm sure you'd be like, "The fuck is wrong with that thing?" You know what I mean? Put him in the toaster. <laughs> yeah, that guy needs to get toasted. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I don't know if that joke's okay. I don't. I don't know either. <laughs> I'm gonna hit play. I don't know if half this episode's okay. I don't know. We'll find out. (sighs) Was that a video game? That was like called. But it was like Call of Duty Black Ops. He was like getting ready to leave. At the end, Call of Duty Black Ops. Yeah, when they're like Mason, what are the numbers? And you have to like get out of the seat oh, to play zombies. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. That was just. Uh, I thought that video that that um, that video confused me. I didn't know what was going on until I like rewatched it three times. All right, give me your. What happened? Well, he he was like a patient in the hospital, and he just started exploring other rooms he wasn't authorized to be in, and he was just laying in someone else's like operating table or something they were just blowing he was out around they were blowing out whatever the fuck mike they were talking into <laughs> yeah they're they were pissed dude screaming in that shit i think he like wanted to make a tiktok or something so he walked in like one of the rooms or whatever that they do a procedure in and he was just making a tiktok in the room and they were like get the <laughs> fuck out of there <laughs> oh shit dude all right well i think that was a good game yeah rate this episode one through ten me or just the general public Itchy ankles. He's got itchy ankles. Uh, I would rate this episode a eight. This episode was trash, dude. I give it a one. You're lying. We had coffee. We had yeah, Sean. That's true. I'm with you. I'm with you. It's. I think eight. you're. An, I think you're. It's an, an eight point two. I think that. Well, you can't. You're just uh, one upping me. Two, uh, two point two upping me. Zach, I think you today. You were just in a. You were just kind of in a funk. You're, you say there's no Ethan showing up or Marsha slash uh, any. I don't need Ethan. I don't need Marsha to have a good time. You give, listen, today you come in here. You come in here. Sean gives it his all. And you say this is a that trash was, episode. It's a one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, put a put a put a put a number three in chat if your name is Sean. We're waiting. Yeah, we're waiting for you. If you're on YouTube Shorts right now and you're still waiting for us, and your name is Sean, we're waiting for you. And if to and put if the name, number three in the comments, if your YouTube name doesn't include Sean, yeah, I would. I would just. You, there's no way to verify, so I wouldn't even. You know, that's not true. I mean, just if you want to, if you want to pretend like your name's Sean, you know. You drive a, you drive, you drive, can you drive me home? Yeah. Um, I don't have my keys. I have mine. Okay. <laughs> um, thankfully I'm the one that's been drinking. Let's go. Uh, dude, this is such a good episode. <sighs> Again, we'll, we'll, 
we'll see what it's like when you're done editing it with all your magic. It's going to be a 10 out of 10. We should be one a 10 out of 10, 10 episode? It's going to be 1 out of 10 on YouTube. What is, this episode, what is this episode called? What do we do? What do we do today? We talk about 9-11 a lot. <laughs> a second podcast just hit the World Trade Center. <laughs> The thumbnail is just like Sean. You know, Sean, was making those... Sean, and then yeah, just nine exactly. eleven actually in the background. Uh, dude, we gotta. I have this sock in my hand. Um, all right, let's end this shit. All right, good night, That's everybody. Not the thumbnail. Good night, everybody. Nine eleven. Yeah, bye, everybody. Bye, 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 bye.